Hey, here Hello. we go. Oh, look, my hair is all white. <laughs> You're getting old. I must be old. It must have been <laughs> such a, a, a long transition since you last year. How did you get old? Because it was, well, it was during the transition. It was quite a while. Yes. It was quite a while since you was here. It was, yeah, like yeah. what? Uh, it's been two a weeks? Good, good two, three weeks, I, I guess we can call it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so you went away. I went to yeah to do something in uh, up north. You went to do something up north. Yeah. Uh, do you want to talk about that? No. No. Oh, it's, it's not. not it's, it's not necessary. You know, <laughs> just, he just went airsoft. running around the forest shooting at people with yes. little BB guns. Exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I went away. Yeah. I went to Germany. I went to see a good friend of mine, Boris. Who um, happy birthday. It was no, birthday. happy birthday, Boris. Yeah. So I went just for the twenty five now, is he? Yes, twenty five years <laughs> young. He's so young now. Um, hey guys, how you hey, doing? Rory, Matt, Tristan. Big hello. We miss you all too. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we was uh, we've been away for a little while, and mm -hmm. now we're back. Yeah. And we've got a few projects that we've been working on. You've got yeah, some well, stuff over there. Oh, really? Projects just work. Just yeah. things yeah. that we do. Fun you know, stuff. Yeah. Fun stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so there's a few things like that to talk about. I'm not yes. sure which one we want to talk about first. What do you think, uh, Carlos? Which one would you like to talk about first? Uh, uh, this, uh, three. Let's, should we talk about this yeah, this kind of stuff? So, yeah. yeah, I need to just transition that. There we go. So this is what we're looking at. Um, this yeah. is only one of it's, the it's bits. It's tiny. It's on the small screen. It's on the small screen. Well, I'll put it on the small screen because it's small. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> You know, so um, Not that one. let's go close. Let's there we go. close up on the big screen for you, <laughs> and we'll make us. I can hold it, so you can focus so, on the. So this, on the thing. Like that. that, is a one thirty fifth scale, to go with our little chucky things, our little yeah. jeeps, yeah, this kind of size, and that's a um, that's a jerry can. Yes. That is a can full of jerry, <laughs> but not jelly. So that compared to the one next to it, you can you can see one. like the detail even with this crappy camera. Even with that camera, <laughs> which is a little bit that could be a bit more focused in. I think maybe yeah. we can do a little bit of. Something. Oh, oh, that was good. Yeah, we're yes. nearly there. Something like that. So yeah. if you try and bring that in a bit, there, yeah, so you can see okay. all the oh, grain okay. on the blue one. Yeah, you can really and see the just beautifully smooth on the um, on the uh, resin printed one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, which I I'm very much in love with the resin oh. printer, yeah, <laughs> very much in love with that. And you can see that printer behind us. So let me see if I'm pointing at the right thing. I think it's this one here. Yes, this thing here is the resin printer, and it's printing right now. Yeah, because Carlos has asked me to print <laughs> him something. Print some stuff. Um, you know, we can we can. I had an idea yeah. just as we're starting the stream. Yeah. I can show them what it looks like. Which bit? The actual printer. You know how? How are we going to do that? With the FPV? No, no, no. Oh, oh FPV as well. We can do that. Yeah. You know, FPV oh, did cabinet. you connect that? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That can just plug in, that thing. Uh, but we can do it another way, too. I can I can Skype call you. You can Skype call me. And then just point it there. And how do I put, oh, put my Skype from the screen? Yeah. Um, huh? Sure. Do you want to do that, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Yeah? Skype or... Oh, I'll, I can Facebook call you, I guess. Can, That's good. can I? I don't know. Try it. Well. Let's see. We're going to do something new now. But, um, <laughs> untested. Completely untested. Un totally untested. Yeah. So I've also you, printed out some little rims. Yeah, they'll look... These good. little rims. And if you can pass that... What? One that you've got the Jeep oh, yeah. on it. And then we can show them with tyres on. So the rims. And then that's it. On a tire, which just looks darling, doesn't it? I really do like that. It's so nice, yeah. Yeah, like resin and, there's other and ones printing there. them. Yeah, yeah. We've got another different, loads of styles. We've got some styles in there. So we've been printing those, and for copyright reasons, this is called. <laughs> no, is, we're gonna get again. We're gonna get another happy strike. Face. No. It's yeah. a happy face, that's it's it. It's a happy face. It's a happy it? face. It's, it's very a, happy. A happy clown face with happy horns on. With horny ears. That's exactly yeah. what it is. That's exactly what it is. It's nothing else. 
but the resin, <laughs> it's just the detail. I'm <laughs> struggling to show you. No, it's good, it's good. It's good, but yeah, it's yeah. just... Look, look, look at the detail there. Yeah, it's yeah, even it's better than you think. Like, wow, it's what, incredible. What's the chat saying? It's we incredible. never look at the chat. Well, <laughs> we struggle to look at the chat sometimes. Because it's small. Yeah. But, um, so we've done that. We've got. I've had some fails. Oh, I've, oh! That did you hear that thing. beeping wait, in wait, the wait. background? That let means, me let me call you. That means the resin <laughs> printer has finished. More. Um, but I have had some fails like this. This is where there's not been enough support because you? these print oh. the other way up. So like that way going up, or is it that way? Ah, uh -huh, Carlos is phoning me. Let's see if we can do this. So yeah. if yeah. I put Carlos, Carlos. there. And um, transition, transition that way. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. The yeah. Side Wait, I'm gonna mute. Yeah, you have to mute. You, you. have to mute as well. What? Not there. Here. Yeah. Oh, this one. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, there we go. There, there we go. Chance. We're back. We're back from the <laughs> from the right. sa sound so effect nation. you can see nation. me, right? Yeah, I can see you. So what if I do this? Look at that. Ah. We have a remote camera. We've got remote cameras Boom. now. Oh, look at that. The next step level. We are doing This is it. a setup. Look, you can show you yeah, can no, no, just, no just one ever seen this. Go no, over there. Go over there. Go, don't show that bit. Don't show that bit. Right, so there's so, the resin printer, that yeah. thing there. This is the printer. And then that's the build bed. So it's, it's different to normal printers in that it prints upside down. And you yeah. can just, you can open that door, Carlos. You open the door? Yeah, yeah. Lift it up. Oh right up and over and you can probably just see the stuff just there see it all there that's what we've been printing and it does look like a mess but until you've cleaned it it's very tacky with resin so I might just go and pop them off and put them into the cleaning thing no something like that that's the resin there. That's the vat of resin. Should I touch it? No, that, no. that would be toxic and very sticky. No, no, no. Don't touch that. You can press that button in the middle there, the one that says yes. That's great. Printing done. Yep. Oh. That's the way to do it. Yeah. So that's Carlos stood behind me with the resin printer. Can you put the lid back down, please? The lid back down, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just because it's sticky. It we don't want it to get cold. I don't want it to get any dust. Because oh, it will take any kind of dust into it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, that worked pretty well. That worked pretty well. So I'm going to shut your live Facebook yeah, stream yeah. thing. Cool. There you go. Yeah. Um, and so this is <laughs> this is what we're printing. This is a bed. This is all the bits that goes on it. Yeah. And if you look, this is quite interesting. If you want to know about resin, but. Can you see all these little sticks? That's called support. And with like this unit here, um, let me move it over a bit so you've got it in the center of your screen. We have to rotate it a bit so that if you've got too much sticking to the bed at the one time, mm -hmm. it pulls too much, it doesn't print properly. So well, does it print like bent or deformed? or? You can get a lot of deformation if you're trying to bridge too far with okay. Same like the normal printing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but this just has its own set of properties. Like you've it's got, very weird that this print like sideways prints better. It's very yeah, well, um, it's interesting that these rims print really nicely, uh -huh. and it's because they rise up. Can you see like the slope? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it builds on itself. It builds on itself, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm trying these ones. This is a new idea for a completely <laughs> radical kind of propeller. Um, <laughs> Let's see who knows if that'll work. And these are your bits. So this is yes. your little steering wheel, steering and there's another wheel, one yeah. here. Yeah. And we're printing two different orientations there to see which one comes out nicer. Yeah. I'm probably going to say this one will come out because there's no overhanging. Uh -huh. um, that should print very nicely flat. Okay. Yeah. So it really does depend on. Oh, oh. don't want to move that. It really <laughs> does depend on what you're printing and how it's going to overhang. Like this I one think here. Let's see. <laughs> See this one here, there's a yeah. lot of overhang, so it's got yeah. loads of support yeah, 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 structure on it. But then that's going to be a bugger because you're going to have to take all that off. Yes, is that hard to take off? When it's soft, it's easier to take off. Okay. But it's you're always going to end up with a little bit of 
a thing in it. A little bit and you'd have to sand it. Uh, okay. And if you're painting it's okay because that will let sand yeah, yeah. and disappear. Yeah. But if you're if you want to leave it as is as is like it's a, weird, like all of this this jerry can it's I can't see where did you put the supports on this guy? I, I so don't this, see this jerry can was printed with this face flat to the bed not rotated at all okay because i think this is very small surface area uh -huh. so i didn't try and rotate this at all this was printed flat that that way up so backwards as it were um and it looks perfect it looks, looks perfect I, I, as I, is i see no flaw like zero none, flaw none at this. all it's as so is these axle stands and this this shows you something like if you look at this can you see the dirtiness on the axle stand like it's a bit shiny but uh -huh. matte yeah now that's where I haven't cleaned it properly. Okay. Yeah. And if we look at this bag of extra accoutrements here, we've done some printing, quite a lot really. And this one is super matte all over. Wow, yeah. And you see how nice and clean that is? And it's even got, see that hole? Right there, that's an actual hole. Can you see it in the white bit? There's a little hole there. Oh, wow. You see, it's an actual hole. Yeah. Yeah. Damn man. <laughs> printed, and that was printed that way, obviously upside down, but that way, just on its own feet, because it starts on these little four pads, mm -hmm. and then it grows from that pad. So if you look at the structure of it, it shows you how you can support. There'd be no need to rotate this to print it. Yeah. I just, just printed wait. that flat straight yeah. up. Yeah. As is this Eiffel Tower, wow. which is, to me, just phenomenal, insane. like it's insane level look, of the, detail. The, the, the holes and the structure in the middle, like, yeah, uh, yeah, all the way through you that. would never be able to 3D print this. You could not, <laughs> you could not fuse deposition this one, you could yeah. not filament print this. Look at the holes between the rails, and, and look at these little fences. Yeah. These little, the, and they're all the way up, and even on this very, very top level, yeah. there is a little fence. It's right hard to see, but it's right, it is up there. All right. Uh, yeah, that's good. Wow. The detail is crazy. Absolutely phenomenal. And I did print an even smaller Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's got Just to see similarly how, how, how much. But look, similarly <laughs> crazy resolution. Like with the f that those fences for me are crazy. Look at, can you I haven't see even them? Seen this in yeah. real life, oh yeah. Those yeah, little, yeah. yeah those like little. the inner fences inside, it's insane. It's insane, utterly insane. So that's really what we've been playing with a lot of that kind of three um, D printing kind of game. And I've been doing a little bit of work on the wing. This is a brushless version. Uh -huh. So we've got a little bit of play with that, um, but not really, not a lot of other stuff. Not, you know, we haven't been. No, I've been, uh, I've been a bit, um, a bit, uh, what do you call it? Like, uh... <laughs> that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Like, look at this. This is a roll cage. So just so, so you know what we have to go through, this is the roll cage for the little DAS Micro, the 187. Yes. Um, and which is the like, sign of a coin. Which is <laughs> ridiculously small itself. But if you look, there's so much scaffolding in order to get them sitting correctly. So this is the 180, this is the 87 DAS Micro, and it is very small. Like, mm -hmm. next to a, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy small. Yeah. And then this sits on top. So I've got to get rid of all of this scaffolding in here mm. and very gently because there's only a very thin little outline that's actually... I don't even know which ones you're supposed to, to use, really. Yeah, yeah I, you know, I'm going to have to try and paint it in so you can see it, but it's really, really thin. Like, the roll cage itself, let me try and focus that. Uh, back that way. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so the roll cage is... This thin line here, this thin top, there's one going down the front, and all the rest of it is scaffolding. There's one here at the back, a little line going across, um, three lines going over, three or four going over the top. Yeah, 
So you can just about see that line, uh, this line, this line here going down and one at the front. But the rest of it is scaffold and it, all of this has got to get cut out. So it's just to leave the outside roll cage. Insane. It is insane. It does, you know, it fits right on top of here when it's on. Um, I'm not sure if you can any, in any way see how that fits. But <laughs> nope. It does fit on top. Fits into there. So so inside, the, inside the car? Onto outside. On, this on is the, outside. Okay, on the top. Yeah, it, all the way down to that level. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, but it sits outside the car. So there's a lot of work just to get rid of that. <laughs> so, you know, the other part is if I do, if I wanted to, like, if I wanted to sell this, what do I do? Because this will become extremely <laughs> fragile trying to ship it. So do I ship it with the bits in or do with I ship it with the bits then. out and you cut it out yourself? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, you send it to people like that's this. That's a tough job. <laughs> you got to take it That is a tough, tough job. Good luck. So there is, there's, there's things like that we're playing with. Yes. Um, and I, I personally, I love it. I, I'm stunned, yeah. actually, stunned by the resolution stunned by what it can do <coughs> and we'll enjoy playing with you guys never look at the chat they never know. look at the chat i've oh, got to look at the chat oh yeah hey, hey yeah sorry tristan it's because <laughs> something went wrong and i can't see the chat in front of me and i have to look over here and that's just like oh I have to look <laughs> it's there. too much it's just like what it's also so, so much and if we look like we're looking away from you that's because we're trying to read the chat which is over there um yeah, so, so do, do you, are you going to show us like the, the, what do you do after that? Oh, so this is, not, this is the hard bit now. Okay. I have to go over there right. and I have to put gloves on yes. because it's toxic. Okay. Um, do you wanna, should I film? Should I get like a... You wanna, you wanna, oh, you want to do roving film. Should yeah. we do roving film again? Let's, let's rovey film it again one more time. Let's see. Um, uh -huh. Answer Remember that one. Mute. mute you immediately. Um, and I can put you over there. Oh, move over there, and I can do full screen. Put you over there. Is that you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. You're muted. You're. He's all good. Everyone's good. Uh, okay. So yeah. I'm gonna go over there now. That's it. <laughs> you love it. So you go over here. Look at that. Over here. Are you sure it's there? Is it on? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Look at it's not. Look at you. No, it's not. It's looking at us. Okay. <laughs> so I've got to put me, put me. So that was, that's what uh, Jim is doing. Just putting some gloves on. Looks very. Uh, very pro. <laughs> very pro. Yeah. Here's the gloves. This is a, this is this was a good idea because we can now we can if we want to go like somewhere outside. You can do roving. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do roving with water. So this. In this vat thing, yeah. it's a little bit green because we've used it a lot. Yeah. This is isopropyl alcohol, IPA. Yes. Nasty stuff. Nasty. It stinks and it's flammable and it's, you don't want to get it in your skin and all that. Can you die? Um, if you drink it, you probably die. Let me try it. Let me, let me have a you sure you won't okay. okay. <laughs> but I'm not doing it. So always have loads of tissues down. Yeah. Because it does get splashy and uh, So we're going to open this. And this is the bed, the bed which is upside down. Uh -huh. You unscrew the top one. And Hopefully can... people can actually hear us. I, I think we need to speak up oh, a little that, bit. That looks like we've failed. Uh, really? Yeah, no. only one of them's come out. Oh. So look, we've got a real failed print here. Oh dear. Let's try and get a close up of how badly that failed. Can you see there's not much left on any of it. So why do you think that Only happened? one of these lilies. It could have happened because we stopped it Because we paused times. it? No, we just yeah. paused it on once. Well, we? you know, it doesn't like it. So you've now got to scrape all this off. Can I try again? And I'm just going to throw it into the resin. Yeah, we'll, we'll just try it again. So, can you see I'm just scraping yeah, yeah, the plastic yeah. scraper. It's not difficult to scrape it off. But again, it's toxic. So the resin the itself. Can hear okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, the resin itself is toxic, yeah. so you don't want to get any of that on your spare skin. <laughs> on my spare skin? On your bare skin. On my bare skin. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because, you know, that's wildlife. They're, they're going to be upset with you. But 
<laughs> yeah. And all of this, and if you want, if they're going to be really frugal, you can try and save bits of resin. Well. If you want to what? Be frugal. Frugal. Oh, okay. Oh, so you can reuse this resin. Yeah, yeah. You can keep using the resin. Okay. No problem. Oh, that's not. That's not. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. We've cleaned off all of that. Yeah. And I just splash that in there and just clean up any resin that's on there. So why do you think it failed? Is it like too crowded? The uh, the plate, do you no, think? No, I think it failed because it's either not level, okay. and we need to re-level this, uh -huh. yeah, or it's because we we um, one too many times unpulled it. We we pulled it only once. I did it twice. I did it twice. Yeah, oh, twice. don't pause your resin printing. Don't pause it too many times. So <laughs> this is isopropyl alcohol on a little tissue. Yeah. And I just use this to clean most of this resin up. All off there. Yeah. You really don't want the resin in there. Uh -huh. And then you stick this back on it. And that's it. And that's pretty much it. Oh, it's very simple. Yeah. Well, it is and it isn't because now, if you had a part that was good, you'd, yeah. you'd be into the cleaning of yes. the part. And that's a funny game. So you want to keep everything clean all the time. Constantly cleaning bits and wiping spare resin off stuff. Uh, if you, I guess if you have like a, <laughs> an area yeah, here, that's that, dedicated yeah. to that. That's why we've got our little space. But these yeah. little jibs, yeah. you don't see it and then they're toxic. You wanna, you've got to get rid uh, of yeah, that, yeah. even little bits like that. So in here is mostly of our failed print. Um, it looks like only one thing come out, which is one of the lilies. Come out too bad. So now you've got to go in with your brush and try and get as much of this off there. You're rubbing off the acrylic, off the, the resin off of this. Yeah. As much as you can. Like that. And then that's because that's the only one we've got. Yeah. And you throw that. Tight. It's just clean water. Yeah. So I'm now washing off the IPA. Throw that in the water, swish it about, doesn't take too long. I like the glove details. Oh, the glove excellent, the glove's <laughs> excellent. Swish that about, yeah. It's so it's not unfallible printing in resin. I guess it has like problems like oh, uh, loads of problems. Loads all the other uh, type of printing. Yeah, you've got to be very finicky about a lot of parts of it. But what I like is that, like, uh, what you told me is, no, no matter how much stuff you have on the on the bed, on the bed, yeah. it's like one hour to print. It's a maximum of nine hours. Nine hours. So well, this this max this bed size Jesus. <laughs> will always be a maximum of nine hours, yeah. no matter what you put on there. No you matter could what stack you put on stuff it. on top of it. Yeah. If you could build the structure properly, you could stack loads of products. Yeah. And print a whole lot if you was, you know, brave. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's always a I'm not brave. You're not brave. So, well, a little bit. there's our little lily. Where are you? Yeah. Yeah. There's our oh, little lily, still covered in loads of resin and blah. Because I haven't cleaned it very well. Uh-huh. Yeah. And what are we doing? What, then, what do you have to do now? Then you've got to blow dry it. So, you know, Get it you work? Know, you've got to blow dry <laughs> it. So, you need your air. Blow dry it off. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to get as much of that off as possible. And I already know that this is a fail if we want to make it a crop because it's come out very, very thin. Oh, is it? I'd have to make the walls a bit thicker. You think it might uh, break easily? Yeah, there's not enough stuff <laughs> there. But just to show you what we're doing. Yeah. This is a. Printing 101 in the Core Therapy Podcast. Exactly. <laughs> what other shows do this? Who other shows do this? So, yeah? Where are you? Yeah, we are. Yeah. There we are. Yeah, yeah there's my little lily. Nice. Yeah. It looks lovely. And then you stick it in. And then there's more stuff. And then there's the last process. <laughs> is the UV. Yeah. And you stick it in there. Wait, is it is it like all... Uh, so is UV. it bendy right now? Or right, is it hard? Oh, it's super soft. Super soft. Super oh, soft. Oh, I can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that will get a bit stiffer because because it's so thin. 
that print, uh -huh. print is nice, because it's so thin it will stay very thin, it will stay a bit flexible, like that's very thin, but look at, you couldn't print that thin in SDM. No. no, yeah, I know. Yeah, look at the layering. So okay, so you put it there? there. You stick it in there for a bit and, and they leave it there. Yeah. Okay. And then you come back and you clean up. Oh. What there's more cleaning to do. Well, yeah, you've got look, look, you've left all this toxic <laughs> resin everywhere. <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah. This wouldn't work for me, I think. This printing uh this printing this type of printing you know? wouldn't work for me. No? Because I would be sick in in two hours. You'd have you'd have enough. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Try and clean up that. And then Yeah. And I'll go to and I, the gloves. Do you re reuse gloves or just the same? You can reuse these gloves as long as you don't pierce them, as long as you haven't got a hole in it. Yeah. And I get the very, very big gloves so you're not you struggling don't, uh, to take them to off. Take them off yeah. They come off pretty easy. Very nice. Um, and oh, you have to filter as well. This. Yeah. This is a filter. It's a two part, but I call it three because there's a yeah. mesh. And then that goes in there. And this was printed on an FDM yep. from the other printer because every time you print, if there's anything that goes wrong, yes. you could end up with a tiny little blob of cured resin between the bed and the film. Okay. Okay. And because that's pushing the resin to make it thin, yeah. it will push that little blob and that could crack your film. You Ooh, could crack yeah. your screen. Oh because you're pushing, it yeah, doesn't yeah, know yeah, how much you're yeah, pushing. Yeah. Um, and that would be bad. So now I've had a fail, <laughs> so now I've had a fail print in there. Yeah. As much as I want to reprint, I have to I have to filter that resin oh. before I can reprint. Oh dear. I might not see it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. there it could be tiny little yeah, yeah. bits in that. They got cracked away from the Because it's failed. From the print, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you have a fail, it's more than just I've buggered my part. Yeah. I've now got to clean everything, and in order to clean that resin, to filter that resin, yeah. you've got to clean the vat and all the rest of it. But that's what I'm saying. So, like, you need this to go into the back into your storage pot. Okay. So and it's you actually pour like all a of that through here. Yeah. Then you can pour okay. this back into there. Okay. Yeah. So there is a there is a few bits of yeah. arse. Yeah. But when it's good, it's real fabulous. Yeah. When it's good, it's fabulous. Yeah, that's the that's the difference. Boop. Yeah. So when it's Oof. when it works nicely, yes, you could you do end up with with phenomenal prints. Like, um, you you end up with prints. Oh no, what have you done? Oh, it's FTV. Oh, yeah, close this. No. Oh yeah. yeah that's, that's the one. that's that one. I'm looking yeah, at the yeah. wrong thing. But you end up with prints that are like this. Yeah. Yeah. That's just. I couldn't imagine doing this on an FDM. No. I don't see how you could print this with that kind of layering that you would get, like. like and precision and yeah. 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 Like, oh, I love it, but the grain really kills me. Really, really kills me. Look, this is even. <laughs> this is huge on an FDM. Same file. Exactly yeah. the same file. And this one was printed. This one was printed on a on the resin. I think even smaller. A, even the craft resin ones. Even the, <laughs> even the crappy <laughs> resin one <laughs> better. is better than that one. Yeah, but it's smaller with more detail. Yeah. Because this one's missing this side bit. Yeah. Like completely missing that bit. Look. Does it work, by the way? Does what work? How oh, does it? Yeah, it sits under. Yeah, yeah, it sits under axle. Oh, it does. Yeah. Yeah, I've had the metal one sitting up. I usually have it sitting here. It sits very, very nice. I, you know, I'm a big fan right now. How do you zoom in with this? Uh, you twist that thing. You twist that bit. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Um, wow. I've just seen Chad Kappa. Hi, Chad Kappa. How are you doing? Look at that. Chad's <laughs> running in, huh? Big man. I posted your video today. Your interview. It was fantastic. Exactly. What interview? He was interviewed a couple of days ago, um, talking about the market and talking about the joining of Road to Raya and Race Day Quad. Okay, no, yeah. I haven't heard so about that. Tyler Brennan has invested in Road to Raya. Yeah. He's bought in 50-50. Yeah. And he's going to do the distribution. Okay. Uh, he's pretty good at that. Uh huh. Um, and that gives Road to Raya a little bit more leeway to carry on doing the good productions that they do. The video well, productions the, instead yeah. of shop. 
instead of yeah. stressing over the shop and all yeah, of that, yeah. they can. I, make, I makes, think it's a great idea. Yeah, it makes sense because it. it I don't think uh, the Rotorwire shop really took off because they're like. It's a shop. They're not. No offense to any of those guys, yeah. Chad. Love your work, but they're not shop people. They're production yeah. people. Yeah, exactly. We want to watch them, not get them packing boxes. Yeah, no. You need you need a proper company to just come in and, and say, yeah. hey, we're gonna we're gonna manufacture the stuff that you're that you're selling or that you're presenting on yeah. your show. Yeah. That kind of thing. Into our shop, that, and then you get a load of products whatever. anyway. And he was talking about, and we suffer a little bit of this. Um, not quite in the same scale, I'm not going there, but we suffer a bit of this and he was talking about having lots of different product projects yeah. on the go at the same time. And okay. that's very, very difficult. Because you, you know, you're, like, what do you mean? you're investing time, effort, energy, money into 10 different ideas Yes, I know. and only yes, five of them will come off if you're lucky. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. if you're very, very if lucky, you're lucky. <laughs> if, you're very you know, lucky. If, you're, if you're lucky, you'll get yeah. half. And you can't, you can't. The the problem is when you when one of the products is doing good, you kind of want to talk more about it and demonstrate more about it. And you can't. And you kill the, the other one. Yeah, well. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're doing it to yourself. You yeah. know, like these. Like we was a couple of weeks ago, really interested in these wings. Um, let's transition that one. In these <laughs> and now <wings>. it's gone. <laughs> and now it's gone. Yeah. Um, and now they're a bit. Passe almost even, but yeah. <laughs> let's let's just let's just show you something. Now we've got a, one of our team pilots. Can we show this? Can, no, this is Can, our stuff. We have to go to our we lawyers. We have to be careful. We have to go to our lawyers. For say. some reason, some people don't like having their videos promoted and no, shared. No, no, um, no, please. But that's you know that's yeah. their choices. Let's not worry about yeah. that. Anyway, right, yeah. this is our stuff. Yes. And this is young Rory. Rory Looks Rory, really Rory good. Tooley. Um, yeah, I love the top one, the the, the 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 part on top. That's just the old canopy from the yeah, e no, no, yeah. no, and yeah. it sits very nicely. It sits there. super nicely, yeah. So yeah. he's taken our little. Can you see the little blue motor yeah, mount? Yeah. And I've cut this out of the white foam uh -huh. out of the Vectrix foam the Vectrix? from Groudner, okay. which is a very nice foam. It's okay. a little bit weak in that thinness. Mm -hmm. Any thicker, it gets nice. Mm -hmm. um, but it flies lovely. Yes. And so Rory's done that. He's done quite a lot of Rory development work on there. <laughs> Rory call it. Um, <laughs> and it flies great with just a straight E010. Yes. The cheapest drone you can possibly get with a five quid bit of foam. Mm -hmm. So 20 quid, you're flying a wing. Yes. Essentially. Well, well an E010 yeah, yeah, yeah. is, is 15, 20 quid. The foam and this we're going to do for about five, six, maybe, yeah, it's perfect. maybe eight. Depends yeah. on how much it costs us to get these um, outsourced. You know, you're flying half the price. And what do you call it this? The please don't say the clone air. No, no, we're not going to call it the clone air. <laughs> we're probably going to call it um, taking from taking from Chad's post today. We'll call it the potato air. The potato air. Yeah, it's just like, why is it? Why do don't they do ask it? people to name don't your stuff. Don't ask people. Just <laughs> don't ask them. Just like, what a waste of time. You know what? I like yeah. the. I like one thing a lot. Which yeah. If you go like back one picture. Back one picture. Back Hang one, on, let's, let's show people what you're talking oh, about. Yeah, yeah, okay. still... Back one picture. See the uh, the drawing on it. Oh yeah, the artwork. That's I love it. a good it. idea. I love it. Because all of our wings were always just white. But I guess we're like, we're just trying to get it to we work. We were just prototyping. <laughs> no, no, we're just prototyping. But this is what I want to see. I want to see 20, 30 of these yes. in a hall, yeah, high long racing, yeah. just round <laughs> two poles, just round, just the easiest thing you can imagine. Yeah. Um, but each one is a different. So when we've got the lineup. There's like Everyone is 20, different 30 different, different yeah, colours, yeah. different patterns. Oh, this is my Spitfire. Stripes here, yeah. yeah. And that the thing is that with, with this foam, if you just get a Sharpie and you draw on it, That's it's not going to increase the weight. Not at all. Not, not at all. If yeah. you start like spray paint it, maybe, but because no. it's foam, if you just paint on it, it's perfectly fine. You, you could colour that up in lots of different ways. Yeah, we used yeah. to use thin packing tape when we, when oh, back yeah, in the yeah, day, yeah. when we was making wings. Yeah. Um, and on this Vectrix foam, I'm pretty sure, I'm very sure on the flight test, I'm very sure on the flight test foam you can, Yeah. Um, you can just stick it down because flight test foam has got like a waxy surface yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can stick it down, slice it where you want mm. and peel off the bit you don't want to leave the shape. Okay, yeah, I get yeah. it, yeah. So if you wanted to do any kind of funky art mm -hmm. into your thing, that's how we used to do it. 
we would stick a whole flat and then curve slice mm. and peel off the bit that we don't want. Okay. Yeah. Um, which is always a good way of doing art. You know, you can mm. just cheaply, quickly, if you wanted to, you could do it onto like a cutting mat. Yes. Because sticky tape would yeah, just yeah, peel yeah. off. Yeah. And you stick it on a cutting mat, cut your curve in, you peel off the bit you want and then apply that. Mm. And you make your own shape decals. Like, I love what Rory's done here. I'm not having a go at Rory, but he could have done all of this in tape. Yeah. I think Those, it's. I think it's good. It's got it's cute charm. I'm not saying that. Yeah. I'm just saying that you could just you could you could have done that in tape. I think maybe it would the add issue, a lot more weight or no, not really. Because this is super weight sensitive. This, no, this setup. No, there's not enough weight there. No. No. Um, the issue for me yeah. is that any of these points will start to lift. So a, a straight colour mm. will stay down a lot longer than these teeth. These teeth. The points will start to lift. Yeah, that's why I, I like I like it that it's. Oh, I love that he's painted in, it in. in, in, in paint. Yeah, 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 I love that he's painted it in. Yeah, it's just such a fun little thing. Interestingly, yeah, I was very against line of sight for quite a while. I was very big into RC. Yes. And line of sight, and I. Hey, Rory. <laughs> Rory's back. We're talking about you, Rory. Uh -huh. Um, and I and I dropped it. Yeah. Totally dropped line of sight. Yeah, me too. When FPV came out, yeah, yeah. I think most people have. And and nothing. That that's why it pulled me back in. Hmm. However, these wings, I would rather fly them line of sight than FPV. Really? We've tried. Yes. And it's not fun. In FPV. In FPV. Uh, if I, I had was a little bit FPV, of fun, but it's not. It's not yeah, like. Yeah when we did our wings. Yeah, I know, I know. That dude was like, Whoa, That was actually controllable. Yeah, yeah. That was actually flyable. Yeah. This is it's always trying to a little catch bit. it yeah, back yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. I know what you so, mean. But in line of sight, Because fabulous. it's super light, it doesn't have the extra added there's so, you, there's, camera. Just, there's loads just, of issues yeah. with it, um, being FPV. And you always perceive speed differently in FPV anyway. I think you do. So yeah. when, when you're just watching something, for you it might be fast, then... then that you might think that it it's, isn't a few. Do you know, it's just so nice to see a wing yeah. flying slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's such a... We don't see it. Yeah. We never see that. Yeah, I know. And then a wing to be able to just stop in the air and reverse. <laughs> and so, <laughs> you definitely don't see that. It's like, hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah? So, it's, so when you're watching that line of sight style, it really does... You get a lot more out of it, I feel. Yeah. Personally. I would uh, yeah, I would agree with you. I don't I don't do anything line of sight. Mm -hmm. uh, but I flew this wing a couple of times line of sight and it was it was nice. Super easy, yeah. super firm. Yeah. So I'm gonna use this. Yeah. If you remember, like can you guys see in the background here there's a woover there in the background and then even a teeny woover over there. Um I the reason we even had the woovers in the first place yeah. Was because when we went to shows, yeah. we would always encourage people to fly. Yes. And the first thing they would do would go Man. and hit it into the Boom. ceiling. Yeah. Straight away. Now I wanted to stop that, and the only way I could think of stopping that was to get rid of that height. Yes. So I was looking for cars, trucks, yeah. tanks. Yeah. Remember we went through a lot of them. Yeah. And then I said one day to her, so I need a hovercraft. Yes. And we went there, we, we found that yeah, yeah. and we all yeah. and then it all started off and yeah. now it's a community inspired product. Community inspired product. Yeah. Community, yeah. Um <laughs> I don't think years? corporates have got the right to call community inspired. But that's another question for maybe another stream, who knows? <laughs> um so when we did that, yeah, the Woovers, it was fabulous and it yes. brought people on the ground and it yeah. gave them that really easy to use because anyone FPV can just pick, pick, it, pick it up and, and go. But even FPV. without FPV. Uh, even without FPV. But, but in FPV. In FPV, yeah. yeah. You could yes. instantly yes. get a bit of satisfaction. Yeah, yeah, I'm not right. rubbish. Yeah, I can do this. Look, I've gone around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. You've got that satisfaction. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I think we can use the wing in the very similar vein. Hmm. So for FPV? Can, for, no, no. Just line of sight. For line of sight, yes. So getting people that have never flown yeah. to fly... A drone, yeah, but it looks like a wing. So, because the other part of the drone is 
which way round's that facing? Yeah, yeah. Which way, you know, yeah. especially when it's far away from you. Yeah. Yeah, hang on, let me try and get it in shot and far away. Which way is this little bugger facing? Yeah. Yeah? Line of sight. You have to, However, you have to be good at this. However, all the way over there, which way is this facing, you can see it straight away. Yeah. Yeah? So that is very important to me when the, one of the biggest reasons, hi CM, and one of the biggest reasons that I pulled away from line of sight. Because as soon as it got too far from me, exactly. and I wasn't strong enough a pilot to bring it close, yes, and we had no stabilization back yeah, then, yeah, nothing. Yeah. Like you even know. with like tiny little planes, you just started freaking out, like oh, oh crap! Oh, this is it. So you can and only, you can't stop. You could only you can't stop a plane. You can't That's slow down thing. even. Yeah, you can't stop in midair, no. and you could only play that far away from you. Yes. So and I'm no good that far away. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't see the bugger. It gets yeah. too small. So with these, I can fly literally around your head, yeah. totally safe because of the ducks and the same tiny yeah, yeah. little safeness that we have. Yeah. Um, but now I can give it to a total novice. Yes. Hey, Jesse. Yeah. Oh, Jesse P. How you doing, buddy? Um, yes, yeah, true. Thanks for joining us. You can like, I think it's a very similar concept to the tiny whoop that you can, you know, if, if you're going to hit someone with this, yeah. nothing's going to happen. But right? the other thing is, is that even if they put full throttle, they're not going to go straight into the ceiling. No. They're going to struggle to go up slowly. It tries to come up. And, and then, then as you start pitching, then it starts then it's going. Exactly. And I can get them to get the yaw function Afterwards, going on. Yeah. What I need them to do is be able to do a figure of eight. Yeah. If I can get a new person to do a figure of eight, I think yeah, we've won half the game. It will be interesting to try with, uh, like in a show, to just give give it to people to try. This is it. This is why the next show, good. that's what I want to do. I think the the... the the only thing with these, at least with this phone, is that they're very breakable. So I remember That's that when... That's the flight test phone, but if yeah. you look at Rory's one, and he's got the vector phone, you yeah. could scrunch that foam up. Oh, is that the, it. oh, that's the one that... Uh, that's the vector okay. from Groutner. Isn't it too soft? It's no? a little bit soft, but because I've cut the holes out, yeah. you, I'm pointing and people don't know what I'm pointing at, but I've <laughs> cut the, because I've cut these holes out here... It makes it more, less, less... Strong, strong. It, you, yeah, you don't have that issue. You just, what do you, mean? you have. It's, even if it was a bit creased, you wouldn't. It wouldn't change anything. Oh, okay, you. okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because this is not. Yeah. Let's, let's let's get people to understand this. Yeah. This is not a wing. No. This is a drone with the shape, at best, yes. of a wing. Yes. Even the. It's kind of tricky. It's even the corporate community inspired version <laughs> is still yeah. the shape it's a, yeah it's not a win there's no lifting action going on no it's like it's, it's going fact, forward it's a, because of it's a more detriment <laughs> which is why this I is a, this is a, a very um it's just so nice and pretty yeah no no i'm, I'm uh, uh, in terms of, of uh, flying mechanics and physics this is a very inefficient quad is what it is um inefficient Yes, very. Oh, I, mean, <laughs> I think ah, oh, oh, close Rory's chat. That's why we lost his pictures. Sorry. Oh, okay. I will reopen him. It's very inefficient. Yeah. Like seriously inefficient. Oh, but that's that's so not exactly bad because when you get people that aren't used to flying drones, when they have that's an it. efficient one, they just go like flying off into a wall or into a ceiling, and they they can't really control it. But with this, it's you. you if you just throttle up. You struggle to go slowly up, 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 and actually up and forward a little bit. So you have to understand, oh, if I pitch back, then it's going to stop. Or if I pitch forward, it's going to go soft. And you're forward. learning drone yes. commands. Mechanics, yeah. yeah. Yeah? You're learning drone commands. So if then you could immediately go from this, once you've got this and you can do this, you could immediately go to this yeah. and do this around. Yeah. So that first step because for me and this personally, is going to be like whoa well, my god it's flies for me with new people yeah my biggest issue is getting them a positive first attempt yeah the first try goggles or not line of sight or yeah. goggles needs to be as positive as possible yeah as winning as possible yeah i've done the circle oh yeah. great yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's so easy yeah, that's why the Hoover is, is a big That's why it's so popular. Thing, because that's you why. can just go straight oh, away bang, into no, the wall, doesn't matter. You can get a three-year-old, a four-year-old will instinctively know what's going on with it. 
and that's the same thing with these wings. And I, I, I'm I would like to looking this, forward yeah. to seeing, like Rory's telling us in the chat that he's got, I don't know, 20, 15 people um, flying, 10, again. 15 people. <laughs> What's happened to this does chair? It, does he close it? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> yeah, I didn't close it, it was over here. It was over here, his picture was here. Oh, did I close him here? Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's telling us that he's got a lot of people uh, all flying them at the same time. And that is That's what I want exactly to see really more than anything. I want to see a lot of people in one space. So if anyone can get a filming of that, I'd really like it. If you don't, you know, if you can, yeah, I'd love to see it. Um, where we've got loads of... Um, you have to scroll all the way down. Uh, oh, for the new chat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, I, Arthur. Arthur? Oh, Arthur. How you doing, Arthur? Um, I like the idea of it, and I'm going to use it as much as I possibly can. If yeah. we can use this to help people fly, mm -hmm. it's a great thing. Mm. It's fun yeah. for yourself. Yeah. And it's, it's fun to watch as well. It's not a be all and end all. It's not a wing. Yeah. It's not, I, in my opinion, FBVable. I've thought about it. I've thought about hanging the, because the big thing is this nose is in the way, because it always has to fly flat or slightly up. Yeah. It can't fly down. I've, I've had a different result with my brushless I've, one and the, the FBV. Got more power. Yeah. Yeah. With the brushless. And I was thinking about putting the camera underneath. Underneath? Yeah. Nah. Because you're there anyway. No. That's, no, a, that's no. where you're flying, no, it's no, from underneath. No. On top. On top of flies fine. you just got too much nose in the way. No, you... have got that big old nose. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's fine, yeah. You get away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it goes Never back give to up. It's much easier to convince them to spend money on drone points. <laughs> <laughs> we just need them to do the next step. So this is, this is, all for me, is really a first step thing. Yes. Yeah. That whole... Positive interaction. I think, yeah, I think if you can if you can get this type of frame that doesn't that doesn't break when you start using them, that's the grapner. Yeah, that's then, that, then it's that's the go type up. of foam. The flight test foam yeah. is pretty good. Yeah, it's but I think for if you put it on a show, as soon as like the fifth people is going to use it, it's already going to be all bent and and creased. Because you know kids are going to grab this. They're not going to grab this like like gently. They're going to grab this like, oh, oh, sorry, I creased it here. Don't, don't crease that long. I don't know. <laughs> but you yeah. see, you but they are. I mean? No, no, for That's sure. That's what look, they did with look, the hoovers. Like, they were just grabbing got, hoovers. We've even got a little like, couple of creases here. Yeah. Um, but this is you being careful. I'm talking about I like just a, don't know. a five-year-old grabbing this and like, ah, yeah, yeah, sure. Look, oh, oh, sorry, I, I stepped on this. it. I tried to put the other one, I've yeah. got another one, in my suitcase. Yeah. And it got crushed. It was still flyable, I flattened it back out, but, but like you say, it's got all of these crease looking marks yeah. and it looks used and battered. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas the vector foam, it won't, it won't, it won't look that way. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. you need to uh, try it in the show. You need to, yeah, yeah, we will we'll, we'll, we'll do it. We will be trying, <laughs> you know, we'll be trying it. And, and you know, would carbon be too It'll heavy? It'll be way too heavy carbon and too would sharp be way too and heavy, yeah. way too dangerous. Yeah, yeah. And loads of other issues with carbon, RF signal issues. Yeah. I'm not a fan of carbon. No. If it was like plasticky ugh, substance, ugh. it Don't was like very carbon. very light. Don't like carbon. Maybe. But anyway, look. Seeing as Dino's here, yeah. hey Dino, Dino, um, can you, you get me those stuff? little bits there? Yeah. <coughs> uh, so Dino's been doing some hydro dipping, and. Not really. Not just any of those. Not dipping. really the kind of hydro dipping that you've seen before, I don't believe. Which is probably like this, where you've got this is like you know something like our table here, um, and that's a printed out sheet that he's then put on the liquid and hydro dipped through. Uh -huh. um, and I was talking to him about Turkish paper a little while ago. Uh -huh. Remember we spoke about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. And he's really taken that to heart. And he started making some right interesting colour sets. Yeah, can you see this? So this is just oils, paint oils, dripped in, mixed about a bit, as it were. And then that one's a bit harsh, I think, too much colours in there. And he's just mucking about with it at the moment. 
but this is really easy. You've got, you could do it yourself. Mm. We're, not saying, if I can. we're not saying you can't do it yourself. Um, but what I'm saying is that it, no matter what he does, they're all going to be unique. They're all going to be mm. very, very different. So you can reproduce it, but it looks good. Hydro dipping is really interesting. And it's easy to do, you said? I personally, well, you, you're putting the liquid, the, the paint on the water surface. Mm. Um, the ones that I've seen, they've had some kind of a starchy water that makes it thicker. Okay. To hold the oil in more suspension, to uh -huh. like lift more oil, I'm guessing. How, um, how good does it stick to this? Like, I don't know, can I, can I, I, can I try and scratch it out? Do you know? We are, well, just scratch it, go huh? for it. Well, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Is it does it hold? Well, or it's going to be a surface. I think it depends on the amount of oil that you put. Oh, I'm I'm scratching this one. It's not not coming like but definitely like with my wait, with wait, my wait. hand and finger. Wait wait. You can then I'm just clear coat that. You can clear coat that. Okay. Obviously, like but a what I'm thinking is that because you know our skin has oil yes. as well, right? And yeah, this yeah. is a type of oil. It's very like, detrimental oil. Exactly. And if you touch it, is it gonna? That's is it gonna go all out? No, no. I would thinking. clear coat after. You clear coat after. Yeah. Okay. Even all these, right. even these, these ones would need some kind of coating after. Yeah. Because that would get just a scratch. Well, yeah, it's like it, it feels really in there. It feels like this is the actual material was already made on this, uh, mm. on this type of. Um, yeah. So Dino came around a little while ago, um, and he was he asked for a couple of frames because he wants to do a giveaway. Yeah. So on the page, sometime later on this week, there will be a giveaway of a cockroach frame dipped by D Dino. Dino's dips. Um, nothing on my fingers no. from there. There's nothing no. come off. Yeah. And so look forward to that sometime later on this week. He also has been dipping goggle cases. Oh, he said try scratching the goggle case that was done a while ago. That's okay, good. so that's yeah. These ones I think he's just done. Yeah, no, this is like a. That's, that's pretty out. resilient, yeah. that isn't it? No, nothing. It's like it's the it's like the material itself. I mean, I I guess there's some uh, some bumps on the material if I like, scratch hard enough. No, actually no. Huh? You're taking the bump off. I th yeah, I take the bump off, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So he's going to be, yeah. like I say, he's going to be in a um, in a, about a week. It'll be probably out. Um, and he's going to do a little competition, free competition to enter. Uh, a oh. cockroach type frame. This is 3D printed. That's 3D printed and dipped. Material, yeah. I've never seen that. I've not seen that. It's 3D printed. It is 3D printed. For sure, yeah. Look, it's bendy. It's a TPU. It's quite interesting. It is. That's TPU. Yeah. Well, there you go. So that's he's even dipped TPU. <laughs> well done, Dino. <laughs> this is TPU printing. Very nice TPU printing, I must say. Yeah. Dino, you got to tell us where you got this print from, because that's. I think this is Matt's uh, frame, isn't it? Matt Merchant. That's or. Oh yeah. That's, it looks like it. Oh, that's his whole frame. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But it's, I don't uh, know. yeah, I like the. But that's very nicely printed top bit there. That's very clean. Very very clean. Very cool. You like that? Yes, I like. I I, I, I I'm very surprised to see TPU even dipped. Dipped. I, how and did you do this? It. And it takes. Those. Is this this is not hydro dip? This one or is it? Look, if there's any kind of artworky thing. Yeah, that's hydro. Okay, that's he hydro wouldn't have written that. Okay, yeah. You wouldn't have written that in oils. <laughs> you wouldn't. You know, the rest of it looks. No, it is definitely artwork. Okay. So that's hydro dipped. But for wow. me, is how has he managed to get that so smooth? Like, that's pretty clean. That's just a, a printing. Yeah, it's that's the top. But that's the top of the print. Look here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really nice. See if he says something. Uh, it's very nice. Like his print quality is really quite nice. Can you see how nice that is? That is TPU printed. Wow. Best TPU I've seen for ages. There you go. I'm surprised. I've even had to, you know, 
shush a little bit. I'm that surprised. I'm like, wow. Nice one, Dina. Uh, it is, and it holds up to the bend. Yes. Yes. So. Crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm stunned by it. Absolutely stunned by, Never by seen that. It. Yep. Do you want to um, yeah. pull that little thing out of the UV? Pull it out? Yeah, yeah. In front of the people? In front of the people. <laughs> I don't want to pull it so out. So everyone can see. <laughs> how big it is. How Well, exactly what you're doing so with it. So big. It's so big. <laughs> It's so big. Can I just take it out? Yeah, yeah, just uh, turn the you turn the light off. Is it safe? Turn the light off in the middle. Put that one to the middle. That's yeah. it. Pull it out, bring it over here. I'm just gonna take the whole thing. Oh. It's not stuck to that. <laughs> I screwed it up. It's not stuck to that. He's trying to be gentle right and he throws it across the room instead. <laughs> so here it is. And look, can you notice that it's a lot stiffer? Let's try and put it in here and transition for you. So this was very floppy, wasn't it? Ignore that, there's just someone at the door. Um, this was very floppy when we printed it, and yeah. now it's very stiff. Except for this oh. bit that I cracked when we were... I cracked that before, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. So now you've got to now somehow get this off of this support yeah. without busting it. That seems very hard. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? But you can cut them off. I'm just trying to peel it away because I'm lazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am. I'm just telling you. Here we go. This one was busted on this side. And you've got to break these. Normally, I'd use a little snippers, but it's all the way over there. <laughs> it's too far. <laughs> it's all the way over there. Too far for you to And care. Hussein's not here to pass it to me, so what do I do? There so, there's that broken bit. But the, j just the level of. of the thinness, isn't it? The thinness of this. Like, that is crazy thin. Look at it's it, printed it's that. Uh, that is, that's it. mental. It's actually. What are you saying in the chat? Pay attention to the chat, Jim. Oh, yeah, yeah, the chat. <laughs> Shit, the frame. They're talking amongst themselves. What do you want oh, me to they? get involved for? <laughs> They're talking amongst Leave themselves. Them. Leave them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking at this and I'm just, I'm stunned. So a little bit of change on the artwork. Yeah, a little bit of change on the artwork and that could well be, if, what if could I, oh. well be the latest, newest prop out. <laughs> and now we, we're going to have Lily props. Remember where you heard it first. It was not a community inspired idea. A community inspired Lily prop. No. That's very so interesting. It's just wonderful, the printing level. So if you could just... I think you can still try and put this on a... I'm sure we will. On a motor. I'm sure we will. And we'll do you have to... Do you have to... Balance Lily <laughs> No, they are balanced. They're naturally balanced. <laughs> They're naturally balanced, aren't they? Because it's the same <laughs> curve. Imagine, I just started imagining people... What, trying to shape it? No, no, no. Do, do, they, do they balance tiny little props? No, <laughs> I don't think they do. I honestly don't think they do. Oh my god! So that is your is your little Lily at your resin, at your resin printer. That's it's incredible, really. isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Look yeah. at the friend. The friend disappears on the. If I didn't tell you there's a friend there, it'd be hard for you to understand. Huh? It's a camouflage uh, frame. Oh, the frame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very very good. Very um, good. Um, I'm very excited to see what what, what, what comes crazy out new next. things are are gonna come out of that print. I'm I'm gonna I'm for a li I think I'm gonna start with the parts for for the Orlando for the Orlando. Yes. So rims, these axle stands. Yes. Um, obviously jerry cans. We've got them down. Like I don't know if you can. Will it come out on the camera? But a bit further away. I can uh, uh, come in close. On just at the top there, it actually says 20 litres is what yeah, I'm trying yeah, to show you. Yeah, I can you. see, yeah. And it's just so fine. There yeah, you go. I can see there. Look at that. Yeah, so that can for me is bang on. Yeah. I don't really want to do any changes to this. Might be a bit too big, no? I'm not really sure because when I look at the back of the truck and I look at that, yeah. I think that's that's about the right size. Think so. Yeah. Like, is it? You guys tell me. I don't know because the 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 other ones that I have, 
Let me take one out. Are too small. Like that, too small. That, that tiny little shitty thing. Look at this size. Of Where it. did you get? Uh, yeah, but that's like a that's 135. A, all right, but that's 135 tank, like army scale. Yeah. Which is that's crazy small. How much oh. fuel are you gonna put in there? <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. But don't say that I haven't printed one that small because <laughs> I have. I oh have, my god, the detail of I, this. Yeah, is, it's still there, it's still there. It's insane. So I have printed one that small, but I think that that's far you can, you too can, small. You can read the 20 liters on the small one as well. Yeah. <laughs> like it has a few lines, but I guess. That's far too small yeah. for these. This well, scale I, I don't stuff. know. Is it? But look how small it is. I don't know, because this, this in comparison to the car, it's tiny. I don't know. It's tiny, bro. It's the size of a seat. A jerry can's got to be like, it's tiny. That's it's not. too small. Yeah, maybe. I, I think it's too. I've I'll never had what, like a jerry we'll, can. We'll that offer big. two sizes and you can <laughs> choose which one you want. Who knows? In between. Yeah. Can we have one in between? <coughs> now you want three sizes. No, I just, I want, I want the one in between. Now you want, you just want the one in between. <laughs> okay. No, I don't know. Let's, what, what are people saying? Hey, Thomas. Oh, hey, Tom. Amazing. You, you, you tell us. You what? tell us. But so so that anyway, that's what we're looking at yeah. is accoutrements, yeah. accessories. Here's here's what I would like. Yes. And this segues. Segues nicely. <laughs> segues we nicely. A, we love a segue. Into the stuff that I've been doing. That's why I haven't been posting like videos of flying. Well, that's been building. That and other stuff as well okay. that happened. But that yeah. That's what, uh, one of the reasons why I haven't been posting videos of me flying, because I've been building, exactly. And I've been building... Let me see if I can zoom in. Ah, that's nice. I've been building this lovely thing. Now, people are like, ah, oh, but it's a little car. No, 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 no. Can you see the, can you see the level of detail inside? You, you have like a, an instrument panel and even a seat next to the uh, next to the driver's seat and the the cool thing about this obviously fpv mm. is that it's it's a whole new world for you to explore like yeah. you know the way that you explore stuff with with your with your tiny whoop right yeah. you go and fly places in, in and out of branches yes yeah well, but with this it's for me it's that level of exploration in the ground. Do you remember when you first? And started you can't do this with with the. Uh, you can't do this line of sight first, because it's nice to look at it. Oh, look at you it! Go oh, too far away from but, yourself. And not, I don't not want to just be that. You, you can't go like underneath stuff, right? You're yeah. not going to be able to. But do you remember when you first started FPV? Yeah. And tiny FPV, especially. Yeah. How your house became a new world. Exactly. It, and with this, it, your ground yeah. becomes a new world. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Yes. And that's why I love these a lot, and especially the FPV version of these. Yes. And so you are going to start a new project with something bigger. Uh, There's another big one there. Well, big one. Yeah. yeah. And, I'll, and oh, you can one. and you can bring you in your little you, you you can bring in your little charger as well. So yeah. part of what I love about the Orlandos is that it is a scale like a one tenth. Yeah, and I and that allows you all of the little separate suspension bars, rod arms, everything, which would then so Orlando have got four models. They've got the Jeep, they've got the Land Rover. We had a one ten, beautiful one ten. Yeah, <coughs> they've got a Pajero. Yeah, and the one fifty. Yeah, but that's not enough for us. No, that's not enough. Um, of course not. <laughs> so, you can find <laughs> other models. So this is a Hummer, mm -hmm. and a one thirty fifth Hummer driven by what looks like the Stig. Um, no, that's the that's the co-pilot. That's the co-pilot. That's okay. the that's the interesting thing with this, and that's the the thing I think is missing from the FPV part. It is because, and that's the reason why I made all of these. And if you can see, like all of them have have interiors on them, and that's one of the things that you can I think you can do with your with your resin printing well i've been thinking about that because funny because if you can look inside mine i've had to print it yeah and i don't like that kind of no and stuff. it gets way it gets like shitty oh it's just no good 
for, for when we started, remember, it, this was perfect, right? It was. But we, we needed the interior right away. Yeah. 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 Straight away, we yeah. needed an interior, yeah. and that's where we was. Hmm. And that's why we went to the paper. But now, we can make our you own. You can interior. make interiors, yes. So that as you're looking... Yes, and I think most of the people that I've seen that are not FPV people, mm -hmm. they just like slam a camera in there. And that's it. The camera doesn't move. It's just in the center or even on top. Oh. So it's it's like, and they go like, ah, you know, yeah, I've tried FPV, but it's, you know, no big deal. I, I prefer just taking it uh, uh, line of sight. Yeah. And that's then why, because they're not, it's, well. They're not actually getting what we had that time exactly. when we did the course yes. around here. Yes. We was that inside. You know, inside of the car. And more importantly, you can look around. So there's a, a yep. there's a, a degree of maneuverability the lefty, of, right, of personality that you can include in the car. Because okay. when you're driving a car, you're not you're not going like this, right? No, uh, no you're the not wheel, fixed. No arms moving the wheel and just looking forward and going like, eh, eh, No, that's, eh. that's not no, fun. No, right? That's you're, not fun. you're going and you're looking to the side. Oh, come on, yeah, yeah, you can do it. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you can go up that bump. Instead of just, oh, I have to maneuver I'm, the car to see what the hell I'm, you're doing. I want to see, like, you, you've seen the guy, we can't show video clips nope. right now. Um, <laughs> but you guys have seen the guy that does the puppet kind of RC stuff. Puppet. So he's got a, a driver yeah. and one arm's on the gear. Yes, yes, yes. And one yes, arm's on the yeah, wheel. Yeah. I yeah. want that. That's what I want to see this. I think on this, this level it might be asking a bit too much. I appreciate that. But... <laughs> So anything, but that's the closest so I've got. I, I want to step down from that. Yes. As close as we can get to, to, to that. rather than having nothing. I'm not the, I don't care, yeah. you just plonk it on the top kind Put of thing. So okay, I want right. all of that, uh, yeah. and as close to that as I can get. Yes. If I could put a little fake steering wheel with an arm, that's, that's, even if it doesn't move, I'd be happy. That's what I've done. So in this, in this uh, you can see a little steering wheel there. Which you can actually see it while you're... While the camera. So the camera while sees the, camera, the top of the wheel, which exactly. is what I wanted when I you was trying to put... You actually see more than the top of the wheel. When, that's what I wanted when I was putting in yeah. this fake yeah. bit of paper yeah. printed. And interior. when you look to the side, you can see like part of the uh, seat. You can maybe catch a, a glimpse at the... Uh, at I don't the know dashboard. if you can see it there. Yeah, you can, you can see the dashboard. And then it also... And this was very interesting for me when I, start, when I started putting like realistic... Um, interiors. Not realistic interiors, but you know, interiors. Yeah. Is that depending on the light, you see the interior in a different way. Yeah, shadowing and that. Because it would have shadowing a shadow. Shadowing is like if, you, if you're like dark. heading towards light, it's all dark, right? But yeah. when you start turning and you see the light, it starts shining in. Into and it, it becomes real, you realer. know? It's like more, more real. real. <laughs> yeah. More real. And more. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's the reason why I started making like. Uh, you can see this this guy even like when the camera turns. I can see I can see the co-pilot looking at his stuff, and I can see the the wing mirror on the side, which works as well. And I can see when it turns to the other side, I can see the other wing mirror. So you could you've got yours yes on a separate control, or have you just put yours straight into the steering? No, Are no, you, no, separate control. So you've yeah. got a separate control. So you can be turning to one side and look at to the other. That's the way I'd like to yes. do it. Like. I think if you try to do it the simple way, you wouldn't enjoy it. No, because if, you're steering and you're looking at the same exactly. side. Exactly. You want to you want to steer one yeah. way, look the other way. Exactly. Or, like or you do in real life. What you look further. Yeah. What you're trying to do is like mimic what you would do in real life, in which real is life. when you're when you're counter steering or going back, you you don't you don't steer one way and look at the same way, right? Uh, 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 that's stupid. You don't. It yeah. Taste you you counter steer and then you look away. To see where you're going. I always look over that way. <laughs> you can you can look I the other can't, way. I can't. I can't. I don't look that way. I always look that way. So th then, wait. This then, is part of it. This is a big part of it. Yes, this is part of it. Because for me, the visual aspect for other people with these yes. are very important. Very. It's very important. Very. Which is something that you don't have in drones. I'm trying to make that. Yes. I, I'm, in I, drones, you, know, you I'm have not a fan of carbon. What? What? The, in drones, the the max that you have is what you put LEDs on it. That's it. And, oh, look, and it. color. And and a bit of color. Yeah. And that's it. That's how you make it unique. But you're making it unique. You're not making it. But no, no. What you have people to, are going to like, appreciate. Oh wow! Wait, look at what that you one. have to appreciate. No, like, yeah. What you have to appreciate is that as these, you're yes. copying 
existing real world thing. Yes. There's no real world drone. There's no real world drone. You're, you're right about that, yeah. So there's but you can make to, one. You can make a copy. Yeah, but you Would can you, make something beautiful. Do you know, I've done it, I've, I <laughs> hope people appreciate it, but I've done it a few times where, you know, just a few little stickers. If you can use head like tracking. That. Dude, you can use head tracking. With but it. we just said we, it ain't going to work. Uh, huh? it, you can use head tracking. Yeah, you would. It depends on your receiver. No, 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 no. You can it. use head tracking right away as it is. Because head tracking is it just, just takes your goggles controls, yeah. Your goggles saying like left or right. Yeah. And you just say, okay, when you move left, that's servo going, servo one going left. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then when you move right, it's servo right, right. Difference. So, yeah. Same you, you can You can definitely do that. Yes. Yes. But thanks for taking my train of thought. That oh, was very sorry. nice of you. You and Dino. Thanks, Dino. Top boy. Um, yes. The train of thought was mm. that these are a real thing. Yes. Whereas a drone, there's nothing to copy. There's nothing to emulate. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand there's no scale version. There's not. Yeah. There's no scale version. And 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 and. Yeah. Worse than that is it's very utilitarian design. Yes. There's no flair no, no. in any of these frames or it's just oh but that's oh. why that's why I and you love to fly or to see those scale planes like you're saying yes. of them like moving the stick yes. and looking to the side. That's yes. why. Yes. Because it feels like oh my god, I'm in the plane. I'm emulating. And yeah. now having VR as well, that right. uh, well that separate watched, separate issue. You guys want to watch this <laughs> seriously. Having VR and being on the plane, like, uh, that feels legit like I'm on the plane. Like, when I take the when I take the VR out, it's like where am I? You're asking for the boarding. I want to go back. Yeah, I want to go back. I want to go back. Just take me back. A friend of mine was there uh, with me today, and it was, I I had to force him out because he said, oh, no, 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 <laughs> let me in, let me in. Force him out. <laughs> let me in. Yeah, I want to throw him off the plane. I, I want in the VR. No, he wasn't in the, in the plane, but just the VR world. And that's what you're trying to emulate with this, really. Yes. This is this is real VR, really, in a way. Yeah, yeah. Because... It's our VR. <laughs> our VR. You're not... Who, who's going to buy like a, a Defender just to say, oh yeah, I, I, now I drive the Defender. Oh, but now I have one to Hummer. If you're a billionaire, maybe. But this makes it uh, uh, approachable in a way of people that don't would never be able to buy these real things. So that's why we have it. This is our little pretend garage. Makes it, pretending to be Jay Leno. But makes it real. Not just that, but it may, for me, it's like, oh my God, I'm driving a Defender in the middle of, of my attic. And it's like, oh, can I, can I go up this thing? Oh, I hope I don't yes. tip over. That's, yeah, I, it's I, the I, same feeling that I would get if I was driving an actual Jeep in some place. Except uh, if I tip this over, it just takes me five minutes to go and reset it For rather sure. than oh shit i need to spend 20k 20k fixing my jeep because i think i thought i could do it but i couldn't do but it i couldn't do it so this really transmits the for me the, my passion is that this makes me able to drive so a jeep isn't it isn't it interesting yes that it's the fpv part of it yes, yes that yes. really makes yes it. If but we it's the FPV, fpv made correctly but wait wait if it's we the, didn't have fpv yes would you love these as much? As much, no. I would love these. They're it would nice. be like... You'd but have it would one. Be, it would be... It's just not the same, is it? Yeah. Like, the, you know those trials things that they do? Have you yes. seen that recon yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, whilst I can totally understand it... It, it, it looks I, amazing. I, feel, not, I bet it feels amazing. I don't want to see the truck. I want to see out of the truck. Yes. Driving on that bit of space. Yeah. So it doesn't appeal to me to be following my truck around. No. Because yeah. you're like, oh, the, the, the truck is going there. I want to I wanna be out of my body. Yeah. I want to be in it. This is the point. Yes. Yeah, is that so it's the, just like with the drones and FPV and drones, you're, it is an out-of-body experience. Exactly, yeah. And that's the part we're looking for. Yes. That out-of-body experience. And make it immersion. as realistic as possible. That's, that's why I think that like when, when, when people just I put want a, a little camera, rear-view mirror. Yeah, yeah. That's why that's why those this one actually has rear-view mirror that works. I want one, yeah. I want oh, it, here. I well, want the whole thing. That's going to be harder because in, in reality, You're they, they don't back. use that anyways. Because all of the back is filled with gear. Usually full so of they, will, they will be like, hey, well, I still want it there. <laughs> you still want it there. I want to see it as I go past. <laughs> yes, I want that whole feeling. Yeah, yeah. 
But you can do that. that I'm inside. You can, you can put a little rearview mirror there. You could put little bit. You could put little sun visors in yeah. there. Do you understand? You that could whole, put anything. That feeling yes. of being. But it's the the. If I'm gonna be in a truck, yeah. I want to see what I should see in, in a truck. truck. Yes. And you want to look around as well. I think that's FPV, very important. you don't have any of that in the drone. Yeah. Because it's just that first view. Yes. And sometimes, like when people do, there's a Superman on the front, or yeah, they've yeah. got a, a Millennium Falcon yeah, on the yeah. front, that gives it a bit of a character. Yeah, exactly, yeah. That of who, it's Superman oh, flying, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not a drone yeah, yeah, flying. Yeah, exactly. And I, I love that part of it. Mm. And then I love parts like this, which I'm going to strip in under the screen. And this is a supposed, because this is a big part of what, problem of what we do, is these are 135th and this is 135th. Now no, they're not, the, the other way around. This is a 32, 132. All 135th is, is smaller. They're all 135, bro. This is huh? the problem. <laughs> it's whose version, <laughs> whose version of 135th <laughs> it is or 132nd yeah. it is. That's big problem. And so anyway, this is a metal frame, yes. metal body, Unfortunately. that you saw and loved. Yes. And no, I specifically looked for this. And that you're going to convert it using the chassis. Yes. That gives me a lot of kick. So I, hopefully I enjoy that a lot. Be... Yeah, that was a really good idea that we did that. before. I did it, I did the back. Huh? I did the back. Uh, no, the yeah. back of the, of the Jeep. Huh? Back uh, of the Jeep. Uh, that uh, fits nice. There you go. There you go. Look at how nice that is. That's going to be... Uh, that's going to be awesome. Have to change a couple of things, but uh, I think it's doable. I think most things are doable, and I think the fact that it's metal, even though it upsets you, I think may help. It upsets you. me because I can't work with metal as well as I could work with. Uh, yes, but if you just did a few fine drill holes, you should be able to just mount straight to that. I love it. Look, and look not at this. use. I'm, I'm I'm getting slightly aroused just just looking. <laughs> but I I think that you could do that without a chassis. And use the metal frame as a chassis, and just use the uprights, and maybe. The, oh. Yeah. Uh, um, it'll be hard because of how the motor engages with the rest of the stuff. That's the maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I love it. Like, if I manage to get this working, I'll be very impressed. Yes, I will be very <laughs> impressed. <laughs> very, I'll very be impressed. like, yeah. Um, but yeah. So soon, I'm gonna have some of these some. I, I want to do a new type of uh, video uh -huh. in my channel. Okay. I want to do exploration videos. <coughs> I you appreciate know, like, that, like but what where the, are you exploring? Well, at first in my house. Okay. And I've, you know, it's it's kind of cheating and kind of not, because I know more or less the paths that I can take and I can't take. But I've already been testing this, and all of a sudden I'm like, holy crap, where am I right now? And just keep going until I find something, and find a new complete path that I didn't even, even know right, that existed. Now, well, you've just given me a thought. <laughs> How would you like it yeah. if I set up yes. a course? Yes, I would love it. Wait. I love it already. Wait, <laughs> and then blank it all off. Yeah. Be it curtains or another room. Yeah. And you can't see the actual landscape. Love it. And you give me your car, and we take it in there and put you in. Yes. And all you've got is the FPV view. Yeah, I love it. That that would I be love good. it. That would be amazing. Because that that's not too difficult. It's not too difficult to do. And you need to. So what I've been doing is let let transit to the uh, to, to the, the big one to the big shop. There we go. So what I've been doing at home yeah. is I go I go up. Yeah. To my uh, to my loft. In your loft. And I put a lot of shit on the floor. <laughs> Randomly <laughs> Random shit on the floor. Okay. And then I make a little path, right? Uh -huh. And I go with the car. Oh, yeah, I can go with this path. And then I, I trace back and I show. Oh, can I go that way? Oh, it's a bit oh, like a maze, oh yeah. I can go there. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you have to go and find it. <laughs> I have to go back. Oh, where is it? Because I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. When you're watching this stuff in FPV, it's completely different. Completely different. You go back, okay, oh, oh, maybe I can go this way, and I push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, until I find a completely new path that I didn't even know. Then I go back up, I just move stuff again, without knowing, and I try again. But having someone else do, like, actual paths that you can take, because 
when you do this randomly, it might be that there's no path at all, right? Yeah. And you're just like hitting stuff and, uh, yeah, and yeah. just uh, flipping around. Yeah. But having someone that knows he can go through this, let me put this path here like this. And let me put that trick path here. And let me put that trick path there. And let me put the real one there. That makes it a lot more interesting. Yeah? It's interesting. I, I quite like it. I quite like it. And the, the exploration thing that you get from there is... And, and more importantly than that, that's, that's something that FPV I'm having have. ideas. That's no, the no, only no. reason I'm quiet now, because <laughs> I'm having ideas. Listen, the, the one thing that FPV doesn't have, well, some people try to emulate it, but it's not, mm. not always possible or not very easy to do, mm. is, you know when you see the footages of quads following each other? Yes. Right? Not often, but... Really, pro pilots can do that, right? But if I tell you, hey, Jim, follow me. Pilots that listen. After one second, you're like, oh, oh, I don't know you where you just are. turn it into a race. We've tried this. I don't know where you are. I don't know why he's telling me. <laughs> because I'm the one telling them to slow down to fly together. Yeah. But it's not, I don't know where you are. And it's hard because it's it's a flying yeah. thing in the middle of the air. Okay. This, this size, so it's okay. going to be hard to see it anyway. Sure. Right? But a Jeep that's crawling... Mm. And it has light lights on it that you can you can see, or it has lights in front that you can flash. Is a completely different thing. You can lose them, but it's much easier to say, "Hey, where did you go?" And they just go, "Wait, wait, I'll flash you." Do, 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 do. Okay, I can see that. I can see the flashing, but we had that. Yes, when yes. we first had a go. So I I had a try with this with a mate of mine that came, uh, well, Alex that came yeah. from Portugal here, uh -huh. and he's never. He's never had one of these, never played with, with any of this yeah. any of this stuff. He'd never done FPV even. Never done FPV. And right away, without any explanation or anything, ah. he knew how to use the camera, it's look around. Very intuitive. He knew how to go and he knew more importantly, because we, we've known each other for a very long time, we were just basically doing one side of the couch, you know, from the wing of the couch, sure. going around the back to the other wing of the couch. That was it. But he knew instinctively, because I couldn't see, I was driving that one, and I was like, oh, can, can, I, can I pass through here? Can I go here without falling? And he, he knew instinctively, I would have to drive a little bit and look around, okay, go, 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 yeah, I can see you, uh, uh, push a bit more, push a bit more. So there's this communication between the two pilots. But only the FPV as well, that's the good thing. With FPV, exactly, if you, yeah. Like, if because you line, move... of sight, line of sight, who's going to tell you, oh, go here, oh, shut up, that's I know funny. what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's not as fun. It's not as fun. And no one would tell you, oh, go, go left, go right. That's like a backstage driver, right? But with FPV, you're kind of lacking because this is what you see. That's all you so see. So you yeah. need the other That's person it. to tell you, am I going through, is there a big yeah, hole yeah. right in front of me? Totally. Yes, go back totally. a little bit. Okay. Uh, uh, you're stuck uh, on uh, here. Uh, uh, what you about now? Oh, yeah. uh, and it complete, it's a complete game changer. I that think that was probably the funnest. If you say, if I'm thinking about this, yeah. I'm going back to the time that we did that this That we course. went around, yes. Fun part was over there and over here. Yeah, it was over there where you got stuck, can we go? and you was like this, this <laughs> far from the edge, and over here where you fell off, and I had to res rescue you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I kind of like I got stuck. I got stuck. But we was working together yeah, yeah, like, in FPV. In FPV, yeah, was fun. Yes, definitely. You know, like going up here. Yeah, that was good. That was all right. Da -da -da. But when we started interacting, yeah. Between the cars, as it were. Yeah. Would you looking left? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, can I, I, can I, I go now? Yeah, yeah, I can go. Okay, I would have to go with bit. that point. I think I'd have to go with that. I so, think that more people need to have a go at this yes. to really understand. Like we sound, we probably sound like we're nuts. <laughs> we're so mental. Like, what are these guys talking about? Like, about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's it's like it's like those those. It's a corporation, you know, you're helping each other. That those computer the, games that you had before, where you needed two guys to go press the button, right? Yes. You know, to continue with the level. Yes. It's kind of the same thing, like, yes. but you, you constantly need that. But that's, that's the, 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 the chat yes. is the fun part. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the challenge that you have... To be able to see where you are yeah. in order to help you. Yeah. And I not can get see, to, I not can to, see yeah. there's a lot more that we can do with this idea. Yes, definitely. In that, in that challenge thing. Like, you could even have, I don't know, you could have... Someone trying not to help you. Not to help me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you could turn it. You could turn it any which way you want. Yeah. You could have teams of it doing it. We yeah. just need the space to put it on. Oh, I think that, that the, the space is the easiest. 
the built space. I want to. I want to drive a landscape. That's I the appreciate thing. what you're saying. That's I'm driving thing. around my land, my world. Or or you go out, right there. You yeah. go out in the back yeah. and you draw a path to a degree. You yeah. clean a path. Yeah, you'd have to. You'd have to pre-do a path. But that, that doesn't mean that do. that you think you can do. But that doesn't mean you can go outside of the path and like, oh, danger zone. <laughs> I'm a maniac. Oh, it's no. going out of no, the clean of, time, of the mate. clean brushed path. That's a waste of time. <laughs> that is. Because yeah. you know you're gonna crash there. That's you don't know. But you you get your friend to to come and help you. And that's yeah. The, the I can't really explain it because the I mean you, you can look at the video that me and Jem did uh, a while ago. That was quite a while ago. That that kind of transmits a little bit, but it doesn't transmit what we were feeling of no. that of that thing. Like, oh my God, can I do it? Can I do it, Jim? Jim, am I all right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> can I'm I flashing see? you. Can I see you? Can I? Oh, oh, oh I, yeah. yeah oh, I'll tell you what we we'll do then. How about yeah. this then? How about for next week? Yes. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. The weather. Yes. We do. I think about a little path. Yeah. On here. Some part of the garden. Yeah. 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 Yeah, um, and we'll get a second one of these. So we've got one of these. Yeah, um, that's only one. And we one. get two to, two to live stream it. And we can <laughs> live stream them. Yeah, we'd have to have a third person controlling them, I guess. Controlling what? The no, we just put two. Just put two screens yeah. up. Okay, we'll do something like that, and we'll have a we'll have a play around with the with the cars yeah uh, just a, you know not a massive path we don't need to do it for yeah, ages yeah, because no, no, no. we do have other stuff to talk about <laughs> but it's i love it i think uh, i think it's fun yeah but it's fun once you've done it you yes. look at it and i can't see it i don't get it do you, yeah do you know what i mean yeah, yeah but once you put them goggles on and as soon as you've started going forward it's it, yeah, 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 and you look to the side, and there's your mate there with your car that you can I'll physically you what, see him. I tell you something. When we was on that table there in that video, yeah. and I looked to the side and I saw you flashing in my little mirror, <laughs> oh, I was, I was, I was, I was ah! <laughs> That was the best. That was yeah. just so brilliant. It's so such a ridiculous thing, isn't it? How such silly. a little thing. Right? How silly is this thing to someone get Someone is flashing in my about. mirror. Oh my god! Oh, I can see oh, you flashing. This is the future. I can see flashing but yeah that's 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 i think that's the important thing of fpv that really connects one people with the other because you're limited and you need the other person to kind of go and help you in in the path that you're, that you're, trying you're, to you're moving on to a slight thing like this for me goes right across the whole of fpv this yeah. out of bodiness yeah. that we experience is so it's life-changing almost but it's yeah. so it's such a personal feeling. Unique, yes, definitely, yeah. That you, you now you want to share that feeling mm -hmm. and get someone else to enjoy that yeah, feeling. Yeah. And that's spread all the way through FPV. If yeah, you notice, yeah, like, yeah. it's all about the community and we all help each other and everyone wants to get someone else in the air. Yeah. It's because that's so special, mm. that ability to fly. Yes. In FPV, yeah. primarily yeah. it's about flying. Yeah. That, that out of body thing. It is like a trip, like you know, yeah, like you yeah. know, you've gone and you've done your meditating or your ayahuasca or whatever it is, yeah, ayahuasca, <laughs> wishy wishka. Yeah. But that out of bodiness, and that's the part that you want to share. Yes. That out of body yeah. Yeah. experience, yeah. whether it's with a little drone or a big drone or a car or whatever, whatever it a boat, is, a submarine, whatever it it's is. It's yeah. that out of bodiness. Yes. That yeah. we're trying to share. That, look, I'm inside of this thing. I'm, yeah, I shouldn't I'm be here. Yeah. and I'm inside it. That is the part, mm. the the thing that Definitely. we yeah. keep pushing. Yeah. Keep, you know, it's what drives me all the time. Yeah. Which is why, for me, it's all so funky about this wing thing mm. that I only want to fly in line of sight. <laughs> it's so weird to me. So that 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 segues. Into, back into into what these. I, yeah back into these into what I was saying before. Segway, you gotta segway. love a segue. So we should have a thing that says oh. segue. <laughs> segue. Look, can you transit again? Can we can we transit? We're transiting back, but we need a thing so, that says segue. I could just, you know, I could just make interiors around the camera and 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 raise that right, sure. and don't care about anything how the car looks. Yes. Right. But, uh, but with these, I feel that. 
they they're so nice, so beautiful mm. that you actually want the outside to match the experience that they're having 100%. inside. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. I don't. Oh no no no. For 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 me, I need it to yeah, be nice. to be the same. Yeah. I need the outside to look because you nice. know it's there. Even you if you can't there. see it, you know it's there. And just like when and you you're have... in your car, yes. they're going to look at the car. Exactly. Yeah. So this is where, you know, when you're having like two people going at the same time, if mm. you just look, oh, it's just a chassis of, with a camera on top. Looks shit. No, 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 no. But if you look and you see, goddamn, it's a Hummer. It's a Hummer. It's a Hummer. I'm next to a Hummer. Yes. And it's, it's like flashing me or whatever. Yes. Right? So I've, I've gone an extra level on that. Next level. And we're next leveling now. Let me see. I've uh, need to fix your bonnet cap. <laughs> I've done a bonnet. Oh, where... look, he's got an engine. Yes. Well, uh, not really. It has an an SD card that uh, records oh, directly it's an SD from the side. Card. Yeah. Okay. It's SD so it card. records in uh, seven seven twenty. Hang on. Could I not print you a little tiny engine block to stick on top of that bit of metal? Yeah, as well. Yeah. Then the SD card is disguised somehow. But I don't think I don't think there's no there's super limited space here already. But the more important is the more I important part is mm. there's a little switch there which you can probably not see. But I'm gonna switch on now. Close the bonnet. Oh, you got soft closed <laughs> bonnet. Fancy. Uh, and what's that switch that I turned on in the bonnet? Mm. What do you think it is? SD card recording probably. No. It's the motor sound. The engine sound. The engine sounds for the car. Uh -huh. How and cool is that? Let me let me start up. Let me start it up. <coughs> uh, so you got to start the engine. Start the engine. Start the engine. Races, start your engine. So and this is the one that you put on the Das Micro on the uh, on the phone on the app. Yes, you was doing it on yeah, the app. The the uh, Robo Remo. Robo Remo. Robo Remo. So can we can we show people what Robo Remo is? We can indeed. So uh, Robo Remo is an app that connects, made by a company called Das Micro, who make the little micro stuff. And it basically does this. So when I turn the uh, engine on, see now that that is, that's good. Isn't that yeah. great? And you can switch, you can turn the little camera inside. You can, uh, oh sorry, this is the camera. You can see it there moving on the, on the screen. You can do the turning, the wheels, and you can go. You can uh, switch the lights on and off as well. You can flash. And I even uh, connected something, so I parked the vehicle. I like it. And um, so my... My reasoning for this, the, the sound of the motor is going to go off in a second. That is quite loud, I guess. In a very, there we go. In a very quiet environment. In a very quiet environment. But, but in a noisier space. Yeah, but even in a quiet environment, when you have two of these, like going behind each other, making their own anyone noise. watching this is going to be like, wow. Yeah, yeah, no, no, for sure. To, to, it doesn't matter if no one is there. It's for just, sure. it, you know it, you know? Sure, but that still brings us back to our <laughs> big issue yes. of FPV. The worst problem hey, of FPV yeah. is that you only get four. You only get four. Yeah, well, you can only have four. Like reliably four. Yes. That still pisses me off. That that's you know limitations of FPV. Yes. But even uh, four is still good. So what I've done with this, mm. this is a, this is another thing. That's your Robo Remo. That's the Robo Remo. What I've uh, figured out recently is that, uh, or actually uh, a guy online told me, eh, let me give him a shout out because he's been helping me a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, give me a second, find out his name. I know I'm terrible with him. I'll tell you in one second. So Mr. Timothy Handy. Timothy Handy, ah, yeah. American, yes. Yes, American dude. Yes. So what he's done is um, he told me about ACC, which I, I kind of knew that it existed. ACC stands for acceleration. Okay. And I kind of knew that this existed, yeah. but it felt very gimmicky. It means that acceleration means that when you turn your 
phone forward and backwards oh, okay. and left and yeah, right yeah. the car goes yeah. as the phone is turning right yeah. and i was like when i first started i was like yeah that's didn't yeah. feel right no it didn't feel right uh -huh. and then uh we started talking with this uh with tim and he said again oh we have like acceleration and stuff and i don't know why something sparked in my head like oh because i think he mentioned that oh i just have acceleration for side to side and not throttle okay and i didn't know you could do that okay yeah yeah so what that made me think is that hey if you have acceleration side to side that means that turning the remote like this steering you can put it in a steering wheel i put the whole remote in a steering wheel put this in a steering wheel yeah and when you turn the actual steering wheel obviously the phone is gonna you know the the the, the internal yeah, yeah. accelerometer well, right is gonna start turning so it's it's like i'm doing this did i see something yeah like that? i sent it to you okay <laughs> that's why i saw it so i've been i've been testing this yes uh, there's a, there's a few things that, that can be uh, improved, obviously, like with everything. But the 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 extra feeling feeling because you've got a wheel of of you getting a wheel and being able to go but in what? FPV with something like this. And but your throttle though is still on the screen. It's still on the screen. So basically, so you, you have, have to, to you have to you drive the wheel, but you kind of have to have one finger at least for the throttle. Yeah. yeah. Is there any way you can tap out of that and get onto a pedal? Uh, <coughs> so you can do that without this. This app is just like an easy way to 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 do that. But you can you can actually connect. You can actually you re if you I don't know if you remember the Paul did something like this already. Yeah, yeah. Car. At max. So, exactly. So you can get something like that where you where you just get like a <coughs> a steering wheel. I think that's what I'd do. Yeah, but. This this allows you to connect to anything, so you don't need anything else. You know, you don't need to have like a, the a proper control. steering wheel for that thing. You can just do it with this. Yes, bit like the Nintendo Wii will exactly right. exactly like <coughs> the Nintendo Wii will. But it it adds it really adds to to the driving. So when you're with the wheel, like oh, yeah yeah oh oh, oh a bit oh, more to the left, sure. a bit more to the right. My my sometimes my issue is that's why I like the wheel remote because yes. it's a wheel. Yeah, it's too small. It's too small. I want it bigger, but I like it because it's a wheel. Mm. Um, this for me translates nicely when I'm flying, but doesn't translate as nice when I'm driving. Yeah. So, I, you know, if I could have a wheel, I'd, I would go for that. Yeah. I'd probably even think about chopping up a transmitter and just putting a bigger wheel on that same yeah. pot. That's what that's exactly what I thought. Yeah. And put take the <coughs> trigger. And, and put change that it somewhere else, and or put, put that it on the pedal. pedal. Yeah. That would probably be the <coughs> easiest way. Then I'd be in heaven because <coughs> I'd be able to just even with the one pedal. Because if you could lift it up, you could do the reverse, couldn't you? Yes. So you could have a little catch on the side that you lift it with your toe or something. Yeah. That could work quite well. Yeah. I think we'll have to think about that. <laughs> already, yeah. uh, more already, projects, guys. Uh, more for the next. more <laughs> projects. There's just too many. And this goes back to where what we were saying at the yeah. start and what Chad was mentioning is you've got so many projects on the go at the same time. Yes. Yeah. And then so you don't finish. <laughs> and, and you don't finish. And blah, or you don't blah, follow through blah. with the, with the so project you've had. I need to stop. I love that project. <laughs> but I need to stop. I think I need to go back and concentrate on the rims. Yeah. Like these jobs that are going to go in here. That, really that, is, like beautiful. that is beautiful. I really do like them rims from there. So more of that, more of that kind of stuff, yeah, is what I'm going to be doing. A few more little accoutrements. Mm. Um, the, you know, the thing that goes under the wheel, the snow ladder, yeah. the mud ladder yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. That I think I can print in resin quite well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, easily. Yeah, with nice. a lot of with a lot of details. A well. lot of details. Yeah, mm. we could end up and put loads of the, you know, that that tread pattern and stuff. Yes, yeah, you yeah. You could yeah. probably get that. And interiors, I think. You're now in the position where you have you have the you have the details of how much space is inside of these because you have all of the uh, pretty much yeah all of the canopy so you can just you can make interiors for these yes yes but it makes it like I could not I could have not you know I I could take that guy away from there right yeah but even in FPV you probably wouldn't notice anything it's like the seat is still nice to have there right. But when you're looking at it, just line aside, it just looks cool, doesn't it? 
Yeah, no, it's just cool having sure the figures and characters inside. Or even not the characters, just the seats, the the steering wheel, the... the all right, let's call it character Yeah. inside, the dashboard, whatever it may be. Those parts, I think, is quite important mm. in a model, yeah. be it static or motion. I'm not a static fan, and if it was static, it needs to have all of the detail it can possibly have. Yeah. Um, and I take as much of that detail... Mm -hmm. Lose as little as I can yeah. in order to make it move. Yeah, is where I would be. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would be looking. The interiors are not as easy as you may think. And they're very fine. And they've uh, got not as hard as well. Out. So you may have to have separate parts to make oh, a yeah, full yeah, interior. Yeah, yeah, that will work as well. That kind of thing. Base, chairs, central console. Well, I was thinking more of the dashboard and the wheels and then the thing sticking out of the dash. I could give you loads of little switches, probably. Imagine a dash with loads of little switches. Oh, my God. Paint them up. Shut up. <laughs> we could. <laughs> loads of little switches. Um, so, so that, right now, yep. I'm looking at relatively easy stuff mm -hmm. so that we know we can print it nicely. Mm. So I don't want to offer things out. Like, let's show these. Now these, something went wrong. I think it was the underwater curing. Mm -hmm. But these are lovely. However, they've got this little funny powdery coating. This white stuff on the top. Bottom. On, well, on the top surface. Oh, on the top surface, yeah. Yeah. So it's only on the surface. They look lovely still. But I mean, you they're can, perfect. If, if, if you paint these, they're fine. If you was going to paint it, there'd be no problem. But I don't know why that is, why we've got that. And until I know why, I can't, I can't really be confident doing that. Personally, I think it's because we put it under the water to cure it, because there was a forum post about curing better underwater mm -hmm. because of the oxygen inhibitation and blah. I'm, see, these were cured just straight. These were cured just straight perfect, under UV. Yeah. Perfect cleaned, washed, and then this one was in a tub of water under the UV. So that's the only difference. So it could be that is the issue. <coughs> um, but however, it was on its bum, that way on the ground, that way down, and that bottom on, it, on all of them is clean. Yeah. So it, again, it could be the water. Yeah. So I've got loads of these. Um, if anyone wants one, let me know. I'll send it out to you, um, but I'll, I can't sell. Yeah. As, even though, like I'm saying, you could just paint that and you wouldn't notice anything. Yeah, you can. I'm not one for selling stuff that isn't going to be perfect, perfect. So that's yeah. When I can get it like when I can get them all like this, then we're happy. Yeah. So they're very good. The axle stands I'm very happy with. Um, the ones that we cleaned up properly, which I can't seem to find now. You seem to have lost them. Um, the axle stands work very well. The these um, the, roll cages, the, the roll cage, yeah. roll cages in both sides, sizes, stuff like that. Yeah, very cool. Those kind of things is what I'm going to be playing with. That's my exciting. Little, that's my little path for the for the next couple of weeks <laughs> before I start getting adventurous and adventurous. designing dashboards and and wheels and. Uh, <coughs> rims, yeah, definitely. Rims, I yeah. want to do rims. Um, I don't. There's loads of rims out there, mm. and I'm. Mm, I want to do funky pattern ones. I want to do ones that are. Where are the? Where's that flat one? Hmm? Where's that flat one gone? This one. That one. Yeah, more rims like this. Real intricate pattern rims. Mm. But they're all good. It's all the same. Mm. Yeah, so there's that stuff. There's a little bit of fettling to do on the wing because mm -hmm. I need to get that released very soon. Um, and uh, not much more. Oh, we've got some new canopies coming from Chris. Okay. Over at East Coast Customs. More new. He's got one that. New new. You know we've always had the problem with dark. Yeah. And we've tried to put an, a LED at the front. Yeah. And. Normally, we've put the LED here, like right up there, uh -huh. yeah, and that's right under the camera, 
and we get a bit of bleed yeah, yeah. blood. Yeah. So what he's done, he's put two LEDs on the side, <laughs> just behind the camera line, uh, and perfect. made the canopy to fit. Perfect. Like it's so perfect. nice. Like perfect idea. it's so nice. If I so can, it looks like a little bat with uh, with uh, a with bit flashlights. Lower. No, no, a bit, a bit, a bit, l a bit lower than that. Let me see if I can find a picture from Chris. Um, but yeah, it's so nice. Like really, really nice. Um, yes, that's one picture. That's probably not that one. There we go. So let's <laughs> let's go there. My God. And there. That's crazy. So can you see the two lights are just behind his canopy? They're behind that camera line. Like how nice is that? Like he's fitted it so really cool. nicely into those two little bit of recess spaces. That's amazing. You see? Perfect, yeah. It's a beautiful looking canopy. This is the future of military technology. Well, look, if you watch that <laughs> video... Of look you, at that. <laughs> Crazy. Exactly. If you watch that video of, of you when we went to that place, that building, and oh, you yeah, yeah. in the top right. raft... Imagine if I have light, like... That I can switch on. My mate come over the other day, Carlos. My mate come over the other day, and he is a popo. Yeah, yeah. he's a proper. You know what I mean? Yeah. The hat and all that. Um, and when I showed him that video, his jaw was on the floor, and he goes, "Oh my god, I'm going to go and show my mate." Yeah. Well, my video of me playing inside of the <laughs> inside there, because it's this. It's so perfect. Like yeah, imagine yeah, yeah. how small no, a bit who would of think, kit. Who would think that that you could that you could go like oh yeah you know just. In there's the a recesses. there's a gutter just go inside of the gutter in and the then recesses. like you're inside exactly. of the house and he was saying other stuff like when we go to a block of flats or something yeah and you, you want could to take that and you want to go up and see that they're in there before you go up this way exactly yeah yeah and who's going to notice like a tiny little drone you wouldn't there. notice it at all i i always thought that police and uh, uh fire rescue fire rescue have immense lots of potential. needs need for this. yeah yeah need yeah need for, for this because sure. it's it's a cheap like Shitty thing even that if even if it got broken by a hundred of them. Look, compared for one to, outing, compared doesn't matter. Compared to the it's kind of prices that they the pay lives. for stuff yes. and the lives, but the equipment that they use, of course, they could lose ten of these for the price of one of something of of this. Can, they could lose a hundred of these. Yeah, for the official kit. Yeah, and that's really where they may want to be thinking about a better way of doing it. Mm. This is so easy. Yeah. And with like Chris's light in here, that's it, bro. You, yeah, there's nowhere that's, that's too dark for no. you. There's nowhere that's too dark for you. So anyway, that's the next move. Yeah. Is that's going to be Amazing. coming from Chris very soon. Very cool. Um, very interesting canopy. Most of that is all kind of glued in though. Like those okay. LEDs, you'd be hot gluing them in. Uh, you could. You know yeah, what you could do. Them in. If you know the size, <coughs> make it tight enough to fit. You can just put a placeholder there, and then a dab of, a dab of. Um, what do you mean a placeholder? Because don't forget these these are not SMD LEDs. I know. I'm talking about the the square ones, the floodlights. Yeah. Yeah. So if you know, so I don't know what what LEDs are these. That's are, just your stock LEDs. Like those, yeah. right? Yeah. That we use in the car. Yes. I have better ones. Okay. Like the the square ones that you use. But you then know? they get hotter. There's already a lot of heat in there. One should be fine. Two should be fine. So what I'm saying is that you get the canopy. It's not going to melt the canopy for sure. Okay. So you get to those two LEDs. Yeah. And you put a placeholder. So you, you in the frame. Yeah. You put a placeholder the where canopy. they're going to go. Yeah. And then a little recess. Little devil glue. Yeah. Boop, done. For sure. I'll give that idea. Chris is probably listening. But, um, you know, we'll pass that over. But for me, it's that. He's made it's perfect. a I love night it. rider, I love it. yeah, <laughs> night <rider>. yeah. <laughs> <coughs> style. I love and it. Night times are, are, are done now. Yeah, because I was having Some people are going to think they're UFOs. They well, really now it's drones be. anyway. But UFO is this, a drone. The whole thing of trying to fly at night with yeah. that camera out the front yeah. is really hard. Yeah. Really, really hard. Yeah, yeah. Chris has been inspired and he's done it really well. Perfect. It it's uh, right amazing. out of camera yeah. shot. You've got no blurring in your camera. Perfect. Yeah. That's what you want. Yeah. So top marks, Chris. Top marks. Let's just show how nice is that. Yeah. Chris has done a lot of very lovely canopies, and he's done some very different paint jobs on them. 
So beautiful. Yeah. Great, great work. Great work. I'm, I'm stunned, mate. Honestly, you know, this guy, he just said, I want to do this, and he got up and done it, and, and you know, followed the dream that was in his head. Yeah. At the end of the day. Looks amazing. I love these. Th these are the my this favorite is ones. The Pegasus wings. Yeah. 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 Um. We want to keep on, keep on innovating, man. Uh, hopefully we, we. Hi Sean. Hey Sean. Hopefully we we, you know, with our silly chats and silly ideas and stuff, we also inspire some people to. That's to the whole point. Something, That's the whole something new. Maybe someone is gonna look at it and be like, also. I want oh, to do wow, that, but I can, I can do, do it like this. I can do this, I yeah. can do that, I can do that's, that's that for, for both of us, I'm yes. sure, I can talk to Carlos on this point, is we are only here today to inspire you, yeah. to light a little fire, whether it be about the trucks or about FPV or the wings or making your own stuff, especially making your own stuff. Yeah. Um, just want to inspire you. If you're trying to make something and you don't know why it's going wrong or what's happening, Please ask us. You yeah. know, I've got cutters over here and printers and loads of different machines. I know some stuff. I know loads of people that know other stuff. If you're trying to do things, just ask. Yeah. Just uh, you know, I'm happy to help you, wanting to help you. Um, but this maker part of what we do, mm. this pretty much every pilot is an engineer. Yeah. You, sure. You really are yeah, just yeah. just trying to get in the air, is, turns is, you into an engineer. <laughs> yeah, but this this creativity part for me, this like what Chris does with these canopies, um, I'm not I'm not in any way trying to put what Chris does down. Mm. It's relatively simple, what he's doing. Yeah, but it's yeah? just the the will the will for you to is much more important. Yes, the will and the the, the then the thought. Of what are we going to do? The desire so do it starts with, with that, with yeah. that, like someone's looking at that, like you're saying, someone's looking at that, but like I look at it and I want the, I want a, more like a zigzaggies down the yeah. middle. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I want. Yes. And the wheel to... And no one's going to make that, so I have to I do have it. I have to do it. Yeah. So they've gone, they've, they, he works with a guy called Patrick. Mm. Um, I'm trying to remember his surname, I'm sorry, I think it's Wilson or something like that. Um, sorry, Patrick, if I've said your name wrong, <laughs> uh, let us know. Uh, so he works with a guy called Patrick, who is the the CAD guy thing. Yeah. And they just sit and they and he says, I want it like this and I want it like that, and they go through the iterations, and then they look at whether or not you can pull it, mm. because if you do it wrong, the the mould will get stuck. Yeah. Inside, yeah. and you you never and get, get it out. Yeah, yeah. So you have to look at things like that and how far you can push the winglets mm. without breaking the material. Yeah. But relatively. Mm. You know, in complex terms, that's quite a simple thing. Like you design that, you get it printed out, yeah. you heat up a bit of plastic, and you squish the bugger down. Yeah. yeah. The hard bit is the creative of. The hard bit is to get to there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of what am I going to stick out of, of yeah, the yeah. idea, the difference? Yeah. And if you can look at something like this or any other one, because um, <coughs> he's done a lot of canopies now. I think he's on about five or six canopies. Um, like look group, at that one, crazy. Yeah, um, if you can do, if you can look at this and get a bit and of inspiration, inspired, yeah, we've done our job. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get across yeah, to you. Definitely. If you think that the next step is the hard step, come and talk to us because yeah. we think that's the easy step. Yes. So we want you to do the next step and help you do the next step. Yeah. Because this first step for me is the hardest step. Yeah. The deciding what it's going to look like, exactly, yeah. having that new image, yeah. that will work out nice. Like yeah. you, you could have a crazy idea and it's just yeah. not going to look right or yeah. work yeah. right. So the first bit is for me the harder bit than yeah. the second bit. And with anything, like with canopies, with like you said, like anything in in FPV, if, if just it's the will. The will, the will is much it. more important. Look at that! It's beautiful. Than the method, even like. Honestly, Chris oh, has got. Uh, this incredible. one wasn't released. This is a newbie oh. drone in honor of newbie drone, but didn't get released. Oh, okay. Uh, too difficult. Um, that's the little army. And Chris has got a great portfolio now. Look at that, yeah. Amazing. Man. Yeah, great portfolio. And these, working with Tom Ashley, yeah. our good mate Tom, um, I still think this can work. Mm. I haven't actually seen it. 
pulled yet. No, you know, we've got that carbon one, which yeah. um, is nice, but just too heavy. Um, but if we can get that in a black form plastic, mm. I think that could work. I think it could work. Have to try it. I need to try it. We, we need to try it in order to know. In order to know what that is. Um, ben, how you doing? Oh, look, it's Ben. Hey, Ben. How you doing? <laughs> we, we've got international followers now. Yeah. It's good to see you guys. <laughs> Everywhere around the world. It's good to see you guys. Sorry that I'm, sorry that I've, I've converted the, the wing that I was given. There it is. That was so that's tiny whoop. Um, thanks guys, but it's now a wing. <laughs> <laughs> it changed. Thanks, but we. It changed. Change it. Thanks, but you know I don't want any of that. I've changed it now to something completely different. Um, I'm pretty good now. I've, I've, yes. I've gone through most of what I've. Yes. really been doing yeah, yeah, yeah um just say look uh happy birthday hussein sponsor hussein oh sponsor Husso. it was his birthday a couple of days ago yes. he's happy he's birthday away. sponsor Husso. sponsor Husso. um he's away at the moment and he'll be away till tuesday till tuesday well till enjoy tuesday. so enjoy i just want to say happy birthday <laughs> big love and all that stuff because i'd be lost without him but like, let's yeah, put it out there in the world you don't even know where his stuff yeah. is I, I, every time I want, every time I want something, I'm like, can I have this? And like, I don't know. He keeps putting it somewhere. somewhere and I'm, he don't <laughs> tell me where he puts it. I need to get him to tell me. But like, Jim, I'm putting this here. I'm putting that there. Label yeah. stuff also. We do. He's got label labels. He's very good at that. No, he's he's, he's excellent. Um, so uh, birthday. Uh, <laughs> anything else you want to mention? No, I'm good. I think we've talked for. We've. Talk for our requisite Jesus. two hours. Two hours. <laughs> which is pretty normal. Requisite two hours. <laughs> yeah. um, so thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Thank I'll you for listening to us. Yes, and we'll see you next uh, week, hopefully. I think so. I think <laughs> we'll, we'll come back next week with yeah. a few more ideas. We didn't show any videos, so we should be good. Yes, we're not going <laughs> to get banned from YouTube for trying to promote RC and help people and... <laughs> Show how good their video was. Or no, 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 like yeah, that. those videos. Don't Can't mention video. Don't, don't even. Mention we can't even talk about video. <laughs> um, so we'll, we'll have to make our own. Yeah. We'll I don't know. I still don't understand it. No. I still don't understand it, but it's really annoying. That's how YouTube is nowadays. Pretty much. That's that's it. And if you're big, you have like more power over a small channel like like mine. I'm really sorry. Oh, it's not your fault. So subscribe to CKND. <laughs> Subscribe, make his channel big, and then we can go and boss people around. Let's make America... Yeah. No, Let's, not America. I don't know where they are. <laughs> Let's but, um, make America great. Thank again. you very much for joining us. Thank you, guys. Yes. On our Saturday afternoon quest to to sate our quad need. Yes. Let we, us know as well, like, if you like to to see something or hear something there's anything in particular. In particular yeah. yeah, you or you want to join us, or yes. you've got something to mention, um, or even promote, like, yeah. you know, Okay, it's quad therapy, it's drone junkie, but we want to promote everyone. Everyone, so if everything. you've got something that you do, um, if you're a maker, especially, yeah, let us know. We could have you on, we could stream you, do one way or the other. Yeah, we don't, um, we have like the future technology now. We can, we're like, doing it here, we can we're go doing out it. and <laughs> we could go roving as well. Wow, so um, look forward to something yeah. like that. If you've got stuff, let us know. Um, look forward to maybe a little trial through the garden. Yes. That, that could work for that next week. That would look Fingers good. crossed for yeah. the weather, everyone. Wish for nice We can do it now, weather. after. Um, yeah, we'll have a little go now <laughs> when you're gone. But um, stuff like that, a few more designs. Yes. Just more talking about drones. Big love, everyone. Thank See you very later. much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.